to this back, that suffocate her goddamn <laughs> shit on. Black love be different though. It ain't it ain't like the Titanic where a nigga gonna freeze to death for a bit. No. Black men not doing all that shit. A black man will let your ass freeze and float down, but he gonna tell every bitch he ever fucked with about how a bitch loved him enough to freeze. <laughs> Man, a bitch freezing. You out here talking all in this nigga face. <laughs> Bitches out here freezing. Bitches, don't, me. Bitch, bitch, I'm the frozen one, bitch. And you all out here kicking with this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many bitches I left in the Himalayas? Bitch, you fucking with the coldest nigga in Atlanta. You out here with these old lame ass niggas, man. <laughs> I got bitches freezing for me. Man, man. <laughs> bitch, they call me the abominable snowman. <laughs> bitch, out here all in the nigga face, cackling this shit. Bitch, I'm the Yeti. <laughs> So I tell you what, bitch, you frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Black love different than hell, bro. I don't want to talk about love anymore. Uh, <laughs> whatever. You always, you be, you see, you think, I don't figure your bullshit out. You trying to act like. Oh. No, babe, it's okay. I understand. I understand. I understand you ain't got it. It's cool. No, I get it. Babe, it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to figure it out. I promise I'm going to figure it out. All right. First of all, if a bitch ever says to a nigga, it's cool, I'm gonna figure it out. Guess what the fuck that means in English? It means, nigga, I'm calling my next nigga. Talk to somebody. I got PTSD. Oh shit, what happened? Yeah, man, shit, as many times I've been pulled over by the police. Come Ooh. on, man. All right, bro, you might <laughs> be on the same. I'm on the Ooh. You wake up in the middle of the night, you see flashing lights, you see, like, you know how your TV go off? Bro. You do that little blue flash before you, you go off and you think some shit be When you it. said that, it made it reminded me of how I walk around my own house with my ID in my pocket. Man, I keep my ID so close. My ID be right there. I'm my in the ID. shower, that shit be right there. My ID in my chest Joe. like Iron Man. You don't know Stop. how hard I've been having to defend our friendship through the comments. So. <laughs> bro, you been gone so long, people swear you don't fuck with no, us no sure. more. I don't. <laughs> But it's not, it's, it's just because I'm not here. I know. <laughs> this assassination I don't. I didn't get naked, though. Good. Good. I so. left before it got, I was like, this doesn't feel right. And God God was there with me, so I left. <laughs> I was like, okay, sir, I'm going to go. God was there the whole time. <laughs> you just wasn't listening. Come on now. If you say lay down the Milky Way, <laughs> we get the fuck out of here. Bring the chair, bring the chair in, bro. <laughs> Global sub. Hi, what you been doing? What's up? What's up? What we chair? Chair? Mm. It's so good. I'm scared of this shit. It's just spaghetti. Dude. I'm scared. I got commitment issues. I should have put some lotion on. Oh, you want to slide down for me? Yeah. Me? Nah, just, nah, stand up. Yeah. You been getting the food delivered for real? Yeah. They hit you up on some long. Um... They cook vegan food. Do you want to try it? Uh -uh. This isn't that. This is regular food. This black people stuff. Good. That ain't this. This ain't this. <laughs> this what is that? Beer? I'm black. Huh? Beer? Ginger beer. No, I don't know. I just wanted to be healthy. This alkaline beer. Let me take this. <laughs> You're an asshole. Why am I an asshole? It's some over there. You can have a whole one. Or a piece of one. And then have a beer. Hello, have a beer. Man, we coming up so hard. Joe, we coming up so hard, I got two ears, bro. Oh, shit. I don't even need two. But the luxury of, the luxury of having two, Joe. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this the good, yeah. Fuck that. Snooping around. Snooping. Bro, the last episode was retarded. Man, and the I next episode is retarded. Uh, hey, uh, I was thinking if y'all up for it, B. Simone to leave by 11.30. What B. Simone going? And then, when you got it. We can do another episode with you guys, y'all down grind. Okay. B. Simone got up. At this point, I won't leave. Where you going? Where you got to be? I have to go study for my show on Sunday. What's what study? study? What's there is no <laughs> such thing as study for a show on Sunday. I'm so nervous. Where are you? Where you got to be at? I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> what show like, bitch, what are you talking about? Uh, what? <laughs> you doing stand up? You were going, so you was having somebody, I'm not anybody. you I'm was having anybody somebody know. tutor you? I'm not saying. Don't nobody know. Hand me that. You, you had somebody tutoring you? Are you telling people that you're doing it? You going to leave from the funniest niggas you know to go talk to a nigga who's kind of clever? <laughs> you going to go talk to a witty motherfucker? <laughs> 
Somebody who don't even have no show. <laughs> man, fuck the. You better stop help listening. To, stop help listening. To, first, help me. first lesson. Stop listening to niggas who ain't funny. No, these guys are funny. <laughs> to you, you just being nice. We don't know them niggas in the comedy game. Where you going? First of all, no, that's the most important thing. I'm not telling you guys anything. Yes, because we don't respect your teachers. First, this like what's one? That's like when we find out you. We gonna show up at the karate school and beat up everybody in that bitch. Like, what the fuck you doing over here? Get your ass out of here. No, you supposed to be in Master Shane class. Yeah, I'm not here. You getting advice from niggas who ain't. No wonder you nervous. Oh my God, that's even worse. I'm just kidding. They got you doing. No. The park. It's gonna be like them photo shoots where they sent you in a bowl of cereal. Bruh. No, we just talked about that. That happened to me when I was 16. That happened to me when I was 16. I know. We're gonna pull it up when I'm famous. What happened? I missed it. What happened when you were 16? This guy like told me I was gonna be famous and told me to try to take pictures. No, I don't know how to post. Oh, you got kidnapped? I almost. I didn't get kidnapped. You almost. I did it willingly. You almost got caught up in the sex traffic game. Sure. He had you sitting there with a bunch of Milky Way. No, it wasn't milk. It wasn't. You were sitting there, you were laying in a bunch of Milky Way. <laughs> B. Simone, I did not oh, know no, you had this get, experience. Put them out there. Yeah, we need to get these. We, we out in all these motherfuckers this year. <laughs> trying to get them out of Everybody got to go. The thing. I've been kicked out of shit for smelling like weed. At least I wasn't fucking boys. <laughs> Fuck out my face. Hey, this is actually good. Kevin Spacey. Oh, this is mine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, my hair cut too fresh to put it on right now. <laughs> We gonna do it for the merchandise. Chad, definitely you need to put yours on. Nope. You look like you stopped caring, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have no deal in the new movie. That's man. just a weird ass question to ask somebody. You Esquire, bro. Right? You didn't hear what she just said. She gonna look. Hey, do I have spaghetti on my face, man? Get the fuck out of here. I'm too happy this shit. Stop eating. Like <laughs> look, he was like, nope. You don't. <laughs> what? Look Put that shit on there. Fuck it. It's cords everywhere. You might as well throw some shit over these goddamn cords. Zoom in, my nigga. I'm so sick of seeing cords on the goddamn table. <laughs> cords. Hey, nah, put straight. that shit right there. We break. Put it right there, bro. Uh, nah, because we... Eight. This shit ain't passing away. No, then what did I say? Did I say eight? <laughs> I said the infinity symbol. Yeah, these are your headphones. He don't want them. I know you got a fresh cut, bro. He ain't fucking with these old. <laughs> Nigga ain't playing with these bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> ain't making it nothing easy on these hoes. Bruh, Clayton ain't playing with these hoes. Put bro. your foot in the gas tank and don't let up. I just, yeah, I got it. You probably got like this is terrible folding. Yes. Nigga, who worked at the Gap? Nobody worked at the Gap. Uh, nobody the worked in retail, huh? Yo, you really worked at the Gap? Y'all can do better. Word. Than just do it over here like y'all trying to hide. Nah, I'm mad as hell. Be some who you taking comedy classes with? You gonna tell us about this shit. We wanna know. I want a comedy class. No. I just wanna run my jokes past somebody and see if they're funny. That's what you're doing. That's what yes. you can so where is it? Is this did you orchestrate the group of people? That's the question. You're not a group. You gonna it's use this mic or no? Oh, you just gonna do it in front of one person? Oh my god. Are they funny? Unless you're volunteering to help me with stand up, don't What do you think we're doing? Condemn now? the people that are What do you think we're doing now? <laughs> you're just not paying attention. Mm -hmm. You're not you're missing all the education. You want somebody to sell it to you. So we're gonna do some jokes in a dark room, right? <laughs> and you lay down in a bunch of Milky Way. No, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Everything she do result in laying down in a bunch of Milky Way. Shut up, you guys. He's saying creepy ass shit. She ain't catch. So you gonna do the joke with that shirt on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Take. Um, let me see how it look off. I don't know. <laughs> you ain't got nothing with a little more cleavage. That's seriously what that guy did to me. I tell you what. Go change clothes and I'm gonna bring you back out. No, he got seriously. his living room set up like a comedy club. Horrible memories. Stop believing everything. I was 12. How the fuck was you independent <laughs> enough to make your own decisions at 12? Mom, well, I got a photo was, shoot. First of all, I was 16, and oh. the fucking creep was like, I'm going to have you in this magazine. I was like, cool. Like, I'm going to do it. Milky Way. No. 
I went to his, he was like, he, I went to his house. I don't even know how I fucking got there. Wow. But I went to his house and it was like, just fucking weird. And he was like, okay. Put like, this bathing suit on. <laughs> no. Oh. He was just like, no, man. move around. Yeah. As soon as your ride left. He was I like, you want to relax? You want something to drink or something? Wine? I call it Jesus juice. Jesus juice. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this shit is weird. I really hope he doesn't still have that footage. He probably got it now that he knows. No, because I'm thinking back then there wasn't even iPhones. Yeah, but he got some VCR tapes. Of course, it creatures. was worse. It was films. Yeah, <laughs> he, he got probably got it on reel to reel on VHS on that big shit they used to show movies. <laughs> like a on. fucking PowerPoint yeah, yeah. projector. <laughs> he a big freak. He got eight millimeters and shit. Shit look like a murder film. <laughs> the shit you got to go in the attic and watch with it the little projector. It makes a lot of noise and shit. What is this evidence? <laughs> So embarrassing. What is this, evidence? <laughs> no, seriously. If this assassination I don't. I didn't get naked, though. Good. Good. I sure. left before it got... I was like, this doesn't feel right. And God God was there with me, so I left. <laughs> I was like, okay, sir, I'm going to go. God was there the whole time. <laughs> you just wasn't listening. Come on, now. If he say lay down the Milky Way, we get the fuck out of here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's the that's the like, first okay, sign sir, of I'm trouble. Go you get there, it's too much of one thing. Where the fuck all these Milky Ways come from? Uh, that's so sad. Bathtub full of jelly beans. You know what's crazy is they haven't made no Milky Ways since '88. They just made a whole bunch of them, and it's enough to last forever. <laughs> Nobody eating them. Right. Yet. You know, Milky Ways are just lesbian Snickers. They Snickers with no nuts. <laughs> Milky Way or nasty Snickers? Is that what you No, mean? I said Milky Way is just like a lesbian mm -hmm. Snickers. It's a Snickers with no nuts. It's the same shit. That's just so took the nuts out of it. You're so creative. Right. I hate you. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it then. <laughs> so let's let's uh let's talk about this. What? Talking to the mic. It's you got that bitch in your guys. eye. Guys, welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what what yeah, is this yeah, shit? Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> Five heartbeats. Get the fuck out of here. By our powers combined. Don't <laughs> shut your ass up. When? You didn't even what? have a slogan to say. What? No, y'all didn't, didn't let me. No Who didn't let you? Come Nobody on. stopped I didn't you. do shit. Go ahead. It's fine. You cannot stop women from doing shit. With the alkaloids. You know. The yeah. alkaloid. Oh, my God, Clayton. Hey, man. <laughs> Welcome back, bro. Look. Where the fuck good. you been, my nigga? Man, look. In you know, L.A.? Now we gotta say this shit. LA. Cause LA. you don't know how hard I've been <laughs> you having just told that. Me. You know, you don't know how hard I've been having to defend our friendship through the comments. <laughs> Bro, you've been gone so long, people swear you don't fuck with no, us for no sure. more. I don't. <laughs> but it's not, it's, it's just because I'm not here. I don't. <laughs> I just I mean I would if I was here, but I'm not. You but know. the shit went from funny to then the nigga was like, alright, Lowe's for real. <laughs> You and that nigga fell out, bro. What happened? And they don't fuck with y'all, period. I was like, no, this nigga doing some other shit. He, he working. And they was like, nah, bro. We That's know what, what the fuck going on. I can't hear it on my headphones. They wanted to, what you call it? They just for show. <laughs> no, they tried to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, shut up. Take them You're not going to be able to hear. Fuck it. You no. can't hear for real? Yeah. No, I can't. Turn it's fine. Off. I mean, I can, hear. I can hear you. If you, you stay at that level right there, I don't think good. but one of them yeah. shits work anyway. If you stay right there, it's you're gonna fine. be all right. All right. Yeah. Well, welcome back anyway. Fuck it. I ain't no. know you ain't fuck with us. But now that I know. If no, I, I do, but I don't, cause I'm I can't. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not here. Yeah, that's right. It makes sense. If I was here, I'd be here. I know. They but do. I'm not here. But they don't know that. I'm not even here right now. Wait. <laughs> this is all a mirage. This is a hologram. <laughs> he has done this is a hologram. every episode right, that he do. You know how much? He do it from the future. Four holograms <laughs> is like, you can get a bundle pack. Four holograms, $3,600. Just let motherfuckers know we are getting money bad. over here. This is a Sabado Domingo hologram. Yeah, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. It's tangible, too, because we put a little poltergeist in there, too. So I'm able to <laughs> touch it in the room. Actually, it's just green screen, and this is FaceTime. <laughs> then they're going to FaceTime. This right is now. Pixar, Clayton. <laughs> this is fucking <laughs> <laughs> straight CGI. Charted. <laughs> no. It's good, man. I've been out there. I stay in Koreatown. I don't even know which Koreatown. That was you? The yeah. fuck yeah. called you? Yeah. So Bro, sorry. you done rubbed off on this. Yeah, man. You done got too comfortable. It's this fucking hey, Red Bull. Man, man this hey, what, that's what that shit do. It. That's what that shit do. It gets your indigestion straight, clear up your skin. Red Bull still sponsoring? They Hell got, they yeah. got money? This yellow shit. Somebody mm -hmm. asked me, he said, what's up, man? I don't see Red Bull no more. And I said, well, shit. Like, shit. I don't see Red Bull no more either. <laughs> it's good. Red Bull will give you wings. 
That's what they're he said. They're great. It's Y'all, delicious. Commercial. Trust them. That's what he said. I thought we they're magically delicious. <laughs> we ain't got like, no bitch, that's beef with the, uh, the energy. <laughs> the wing company. Hey man, shout out they to they the club. wings are energy. I don't know why Wearable didn't start selling wings yet. That would be hard. The owner is vegan. Oh, how you know? I'm vegan. That y'all got a group chat or something? <laughs> so you I just think made that up. That, that is stuff, not a fact. You think that's vegan? That's vegan? I mean, Bruh, hopefully ain't no there's way. no animal products Bruh, in ain't this. no way that this shit is vegan. This is the worst <laughs> shit you can drink. What are you talking about? No animal the ba- You know what the base of this there's shit no is? Animal. Bull sperm. No, you're fucking shit. You know shit. beaver <laughs> ass goes in to make a vanilla taste more on, like man. vanilla? Yep. First of all, there's nothing in here that comes from an animal. You crazy as fuck. What? It's a whole bunch Gelatin of shit come that comes from animals. Well, that's not in this. What you think? <laughs> gli- what you think glycerol is? Yeah, you yeah. Don't even know. That yeah. come from animal no, it fat. Doesn't. It's got shit. To. It sound like some dangerous shit. Glycerol. <laughs> you can't. You can't tell me I'm this. Niacinamide. Why, why do you think it's a bull? Man, come on. They put a bull on there and called it Red exactly. Bull. Exactly. Shit. When is a Red Bull ever represented energy? Come on, bro. They telling you the kind of because bulls they bulls use. Have, they won't tell you what's in this. This shit bulls. just say. I'm gonna tell you what. No, this shit say colors. Do you you guys know, know colors come from animals. Yellow what? five. All the all the colors come no, from animals. Don't. Shit. You better get colors. on your YouTube shit. You're eating animals. He just be making shit up. It's babies. Ain't made no, no shit. we love Red Bull. It's a beef drink. Yep, that ain't vegan no, lipstick. <laughs> no, that no, that lipstick ain't vegan. How oh. do, how does this come from an animal? Shit, they make they what make lipstick out of fish scales. Okay, I don't eat my animals. lipstick. Okay. But they tested on. It. That's fine. It's a monkey somewhere it's walking around that same goddamn lipstick. It's a monkey running around. <laughs> Himself and bitch fine too. All the other monkeys in when she walked by to get the jump out. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, bitch. She got re- she got Rihanna makeup on. Fenty beauty. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. That yeah. bitch is snatch. Yeah. We just trying to tell you, just don't don't. don't she don't eat all her bananas us. the long We're way. We're not gonna make this episode about my veganism because you guys don't support no, anything. No, 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 no. No, don't high horse. I do support veganism. veganism. No, you try to jump down on us like we wrong for, well, I'm a vegan. I just, and so. I'm better than y'all because I'm hungry. Y'all said that. I never said that. I'm better than you because I'm hungry all the time. (laughs) Fuck you, B. Simone. You going to slip up and eat a ham sandwich? Ew. Oh, my God. I would barf. Oh, my God. I would barf. (laughs) What white girls you been hanging out with? Never in your black ass life have you ever barfed. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh my God, I would barf and your mother would disown you. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Braylon. This bitch at the house barfing. <laughs> <laughs> no, she ain't vomit. She ain't throw up. This bitch barf. Came in and said, I don't know where she get that shit from. <laughs> she came in and no, said, Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. Black what people happened? not allowed to do some shit. You can't be bulimic and black. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Your ass just nasty. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I try to Nasty throw up fucker. Once. Get out of here. He about to try to make himself throw up, y'all. No, seriously. You can't do it. <laughs> it's fucking gross. You can't, what, make yourself throw up? Mm-mm. Unless yeah. I'm wasted. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. But not like to, to be skinny <laughs> in my oh, sober mind. Oh, you saying just to go in there and just like the, pro, like the like after to- school special. <laughs> stick the finger in you and then come out and, and stand in the mirror and see your ribs. Oh man. Stop, <laughs> stand in the mirror and see y'all your trying ribs. To, y'all trying to make this the health episode, huh? That's We're gonna talk about black people and eating disorders. Yo, black people, if you got problems out there, go see something. There's nothing wrong with it. We got all types of problems. Go I talk to problems. somebody. I got PTSD. Oh shit. What happened? Yeah, man. Shit, as many times I've been pulled over by the police. Come Ooh. on, man. Oh, hey, bro, you might I'm be on the same. I'm on the Oh. You wake up in the middle of the night, you see flashing lights, you see, like, you know how your TV go off? Bruh. You do that little blue flash before Bruh. you go off and you think some shit be When you said that, it made it reminded me of how I walk around my own house with my ID in my pocket. Man, I keep my ID so close. My ID be right there. I'm my in the ID. shower, that shit be right there. My ID in my chest Joe, like Iron Man. Stop hyping them up. Right here. <laughs> stop hating. <laughs> you just hungry. Eat some more spaghetti, my nigga. I'm full. Mm. No, no, no. You don't need any more spaghetti. I, do you guys want to taste it? No. No. That spaghetti hair, you fucked up. You can't boo-boo for three days. Actually, you boo-boo at quite mm. frequently. I bet the noodles are vegetables. <laughs> it's really strings of carrots. <laughs> <It's not laughs> strings even. of fucking zucchini. Nah. <laughs> you know your food bullshit. It's we got to trick people into eating it. I don't want that shit. 
You know what I put in there? Welcome back to the 85 <laughs> South Show. This is a podcast for black people who ain't fucking with that other shit, bro. We ain't oh, fucking with that other shit. Man. Why y'all motherfuckers retarded, man. Y'all sitting here, dis- y'all have some shit. How was 17 for you, my nigga? Oh, man. 17 was the moment. You know, 17 paved the way for 18 because most of the stuff <laughs> I did in 17 so it was right after 16, don't come right out till 18. 18. Oh, shit. So when the shit come out, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I, I forgot remember I that did shit. that. In yeah. 17. Yeah. You do, be, you do a lot of fly shit that you forget about. Uh, I mean, I forget more than, you know, most motherfuckers remember, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just spilt more liquor than most niggas done drank all year. Come on, bro. <laughs> you feel me? And they ask me all the time, why y'all partners? It's shit like that, bro. Well, hey, man. It's your Come knowledge. On, you know what I'm saying? It's the knowledge that you bestow amongst us. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to keep people up. We got to see it's going down. I know that you can see. We got to elevate. That's, what they, that's the shit they don't know frequency. about. You that's the fi- shit that vibrate. they don't know. You got to vibrate higher. Who knew that you cared so much about the community? Oh, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I definitely don't. Man. I can't care because shit. These motherfuckers would eat your ass up. You start caring. I'm going to talk to B. Simone. Show, show some compassion. See what happens. She still care about the community and got hope and humanity and shit. shit. Ain't that right, Braylon? <laughs> Motherfuckers been watching this shit for a whole year, Hello. wondering what the B stands for. No. You can't just drop the rest of your name. I did it's, not it stands know. for Braylon. You ain't know her name I was Braylon. I did not know it was Braylon. Yep. Braylon sounds like he's the son. <laughs> like he's like his First dad of is all, the coach. She, she his what? dad is the coach. Right. Braylon, get in there. We need a touchdown, son. All right, dude. And Braylon's not really that good, but they keep pushing him out there. because he's Come on, big guy. Y'all see what I go through. Can we get another girl on this show with me, yes, please? Yes, please. Yeah. Clayton, your eyelashes are so long. Yes, they are. <laughs> I, I ain't about to you see how, you see what I did. I moved back. You get out the way of a nigga compliment. Come They're on, man. so nice. That's I'm just, hey, I'm just learning how to accept compliments. I feel like There's I did a too. good job. You know why? Lashes. Because black like women I'm, don't give us compliments. We man. get little half compliments. They're so nice. That's crazy. They look like a strip. A strip? Mm-hmm. What's that? Like when you put on a strip of lashes. Oh no! What I have on? I, these shits come out. I've been I'll knowing this nigga few. for fourteen years. I ain't <laughs> even know he had eyelashes. I ain't never looked the nigga in the eyes man, before. Hey, man. I ain't never looked the nigga in the eyes. Hey, look, I check this out. Some niggas, I, some niggas I know only know what they look like. I don't even look the nigga in the face. Check hey, this shit. out. If you and your homeboy are together, y'all batting your eyelashes Bruh. at each other. <laughs> Bro, y'all so y'all like on some bullshit, man. Nigga. Yeah, y'all together. If your, That's your boyfriend. If your y'all nigga ever tell you you got some on your ass, watch that nigga, bro. <laughs> what nigga looking in your ass they even know? Hey, bro, you got some on your ass, bro. Don't How be do you in, know that? Don't be looking at my motherfucking eye. I thought that crust was a part of your face, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I guess his eye got cataracts. Come on, man. Niggas out here gazing in each other's I eyes. I was just trying to shit. give somebody a compliment. No, I tried to, I took it. I felt like I took it They're well. so nice. I'm trying to get used to it. Thank you. You've had those your whole life? Yeah, and they get in my eye all the goddamn time. And then they roll back so I got hair on my brain. I have to. Because where does it go? It don't never come out. You know what I'm saying? If the shit get in your eye, roll back, and it never come out, what happened? Girls buy eyelash serum so their eyelash grow longer to look like that. Shout out to all Stop the pretty bitches it. with no eyelashes. That's probably why they don't have none, because they doing too much to them. <laughs> right. Like, bitch, Leave them motherfuckers alone. <laughs> Let it do what don't it Don't acknowledge do. them. I didn't even know they was a problem until them you know, got in my eyes. Niggas eye. don't even know eyelashes have an impact on the face till you see her with them off, and then she looked the same, but you're like, there's something missing. Looking like a fucking fish. I don't know. <laughs> you know something like a your fucking face owl. plain as fuck today. What, what is going on? <laughs> Nah, she looked like a fish and an owl. For sure. Without oh, lashes. Oh, man. That's fucked up, B. Simone. You know one thing I like about you, though, is some days you'll get on Instagram, you don't give a fuck. You'll just get out the bed and be like, y'all, can you believe this shit? <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, man, I know you Because I can't be made up all the time. You look what you look sleepy. <laughs> like the other day is you got up and you was doing the titty hell. Thank you for doing that Wait, in the 85 South shirt. What did I when do? When you got up, you and Pharaoh. You was like, bitch, what we gonna eat? And you was doing the twerking and the titty shaking, like the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great promo. <laughs> if you would have been in any other T-shirt, it wouldn't have meant shit. I might need to see this video. If, oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, I was in the '85 South shirt. You see what I'm I saying? Love that it's shirt. cross I promo. Wear it all the time. Yep, your titties, our T-shirt. It's a great combo. It's a great combination, guys. Hell Make sure yeah. you get your merch. Get one. Titties and T-shirts. You selling T-shirts? T-squared. 
The no more dick is how yeah, they actually doing? sold out. Oh, okay. Good. Y'all actually running I mean, a I negative. have like four more. You're actually but... running a negative campaign. No more no. dick. We trying to give away mo dick in 18. Actually, no mo dick get your bitch in check. So she knows how to act, or else Bruh, she won't get no more dick. I'm gonna let you know right now. You can tell yeah. that this is false propaganda because every nigga know that you holding out the dick ain't gonna change nothing at the house. And bro. niggas can't hold out dick anyway. Bro, you because hold out you the ain't dick. No dick by the end of the I night. Hold out the dick if you want dick. to. She got another dick on backup. Yeah, no, that's not true. Shit, don't try to. Hey, we know what it is. We grown men, bro. No, I'm. Thir- I'll be 35 this year. You think I? You think I'm walking around this here thinking? This year or I'm, 2018? Yeah, that's that's this year. This year. This from you. the future. You think I'm walking around here believing I'm the only one getting all the pussy? You crazy you as hell, boy. You if can't. it's not your girlfriend, you then of course you're not. It don't matter if that's your. If she's, the, we'll just call it your pussy provider. If you, if you think you the only one getting serviced over there, you fucking retarded, bro. Why would anybody think that if they're not in a committed relationship? What What is being in a committed relationship? Committed to that Niggas person. get cheated on every day, B. No. They always talk about all the cheating that niggas do. And why now, do they cheat? Because niggas be doing why do stupid Because they like dick. That's why they cheating. <laughs> no, not niggas. Why so do... look, this is what a chick told me. Niggas could be doing everything, but if you missing that one thing, she going to find somebody That's else. That's not true. But look, check this out. So you mean to tell me a nigga could be doing nine out of ten things. It's the nigga who can show up and do one out of ten to get the same pussy. <laughs> Somebody getting cheated. Man, hell no. I'm I don't want to be the nine nigga and then the one nigga show up and he getting all the pussy I ain't hell getting because no. I don't oh, listen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't no, listen. no, no, no. Uh, no, babe, it's okay. I understand, I understand. I understand you ain't got it. It's cool. No, I get it. Babe, it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to figure it out. I promise I'm going to figure it out. All right. Bye. First of all, if a bitch ever says to a nigga, it's cool, I'm going to figure it out. That's what the fuck that means in English. It means, nigga, I'm calling my next nigga. That's me figuring it out. Okay? <laughs> I'm not going to stress. I'm not. I'm going to figure out the next number to call and ask somebody for help. Because I'm in distress. Okay? I can't figure it out on my own. I need a man. So, nigga, if I ever do that, you know what the fuck that means. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, nothing oh i ain't got it how the fuck you got nothing what is the one what I is actually the don't one? know if i'm a cheater or not cause what I had a is the one what is the one because if the one is dick slanging duh no, that you is get no, but see, on the this the thing. No, though. but if he don't have that, she definitely gonna seek. So that look, no. check this out. You a great nigga. So you, you pay me. the bills. You listen to shit. You uh, you do all that pussy ass shit that they like. That's what I'm saying. Like I think being a good person. And- <laughs> Man, don't, what? <laughs> yeah. That's subjective as fuck. That's, what it takes. That's subjective as fuck. <laughs> no. You just categorize pussy ass shit as being a good man. No, I'm just saying all okay, that pussy so ass shit, back. you know. That's put, I ain't back, taking Carlo. it. I ain't taking it back. I've said so much shit on this show that I ain't never taking it back. I don't give a fuck about how these people feel. The niggas that I'm talking to know that this shit, bro. Try that to hold the dick out. You can't hold the dick out. Anything, you better try to up the dick ante. Put so much dick in her, she don't want no more. That's the only thing don't you can take do. This advice, Listen guys. to me, bro. Listen to me. No. Shit. God is love. Bruh, ain't no such thing as love. You better get you some money. Stop it. Love. I do not agree with bruh, that. Bruh, the white man created love so he could sell you <laughs> business cards on Valentine's Stop Day, it. bruh. Ain't no goddamn no. love out here. Only motherfucker love you is your mama. And your daddy left. If your own daddy would leave you and you look just like this nigga, what make you think a bitch gonna love you? The nigga who made you don't love you, nigga. One person on earth love you, that's your mama, because you was in her and she believed in you and shit. Nigga, even serial killers get visits from their mama, bring them cookies and shit. I know you ain't mean it, baby. They deserved it. But you high school, you trying to get your GED? That's good. I love you, baby. Just pray. Read your Bible. Eat your cookies. Ain't no love in this bitch. Look at Eli Manning. He's sad as fuck because he thought the Jazz loved him. Like, yeah, Eli, we ain't never fucking with you ever again. Joe. We got a nigga who worse than you. You ain't want nothing, but you been fucking up so bad. Bye. Get the fuck out. Go get your big head ass out of here. Matter of fact, we going to need that mm-hmm. number because that ain't even your number no more. Who broke your heart? Nobody. Life. Life <laughs> broke my heart. 
They've been telling me my whole life, Carlos, <laughs> study. You can be whatever the fuck you want to. Then I graduated high school. Then the world was like, oh, nigga, you black. It ain't but like 11 things you can be. A barber, an athlete. A rapper. A rapper. You can sell some dope. All the shit end up in jail anyway. Ain't no love out here. Right. I'm a black man. Right. America broke my heart. All the shit I can't be. You know how many flights I take? No. I ain't never looked in there and seen a black pilot like, man, I flew the fuck out of here, bitch. I ain't never seen a black food critic. I ain't never seen a nigga in a Subaru Outback. It's so much shit I ain't never seen a nigga <laughs> I seen do. That. I seen that, though. So y'all want to listen to Negative one. Nancy, go ahead. Ain't no negative, bro. This listen shit is real. Right, but no, but no, people love you to they don't. Breaking news, shit is fucked up. <laughs> people love you till they don't. They don't fuck with you no more. Listen to this. They love you till they don't. Motherfucker love it's Nicki Minaj. It's then Cardi limit. B came out. They act like they can't stand this bitch. Ain't no love out here. They love you till they don't. Come on, bro. I'm a lover, not a not a fighter. Until you don't. Until you don't. What is explain? Come on. How many niggas you love? There's four bitches in Dallas in that you don't yeah. fuck with right now. Like two. And how many you still love? I still love them. You still no. love I'm not them. in love with them. Get the fuck out here of here. Here we go with this. So check now. this out. You do know when you when you do get a nigga that you love again, you can't love them other two niggas no more. Because you cheat that nigga out of his love. <laughs> That's not true. You don't get the love of one uh, nigga at a time. You can love more Man, than let me find out my bitch out here loving a nigga that ain't related to her. Oh, oh, we cutting all that off. I don't give a fuck how, much, how many memories y'all had in college. Man, fuck Oh, my this God. Nigga. I love it. Matter of fact, if you give this nigga too many okay. compliments before I meet him, I don't like him anyway. Bro. Oh, great person ass nigga. Shut up. Fuck this nigga. How many nigga. times have you been in love, Clayton? Me? Mm hmm. <laughs> have you never been in love? That shit ain't real, B. I'm loved. When it come when it come to love, when it come to love, nigga, I'm loved. I'm loved. The earth is flat. Ass answer. I'm loved. Bro, when it come to earth, I'm loved by many. Talk to him, bro. <laughs> you know who you my are loyal me? subjects love me in my kingdom. Stop. I see, see how she the made this sound. She tried to make it sound like love is a club. You been in love? Nah, I ain't never walked in that bitch before. <laughs> Hell no, the line was too The long. line was Have crazy. Shit was out the fucking... Ladies get in free. Mm-mm. Man, hell no. You been in love? I heard the VIP little as hell. <laughs> Only with you and one other person. It costs you much to get in that bitch. <laughs> Niggas don't be knowing when they in love. love. Bro, if you ever apologize for some shit she did, you been in love. No, nah, I be in love. <laughs> I love, like I love, what? I love, the, Bro, I love, like what? what? Mm -mm. You know what? <laughs> Everything she do, if the pussy good, you apologize. I'm sorry. You know, Bro, if her pussy good, you'll be, you'll, man, you ain't had to say it like that. I'm just saying, don't fuck. <laughs> You're always doing that shit. But the pussy good, and she be like, stop. You be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but just stop. Just don't do it again. <laughs> man, good pussy, man. How many times have you been in love, Carlos? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Like two? I don't even know if it was one. I, can it be a half? Carlos. You was in like? She had two halves make a hole. You was in like? Man, I was right there. It's I was better to be in love. Yeah. I would love, love a motherfucker. No, that shit check over. this out. I was about to be in love. Then they was like, hey, bro, ain't no hats. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I ain't even going that bit. He's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I you fuck love, bro. And hey, you gotta have two bitches with you. The bitches I thought I loved treated me the worst. Shout out to all the bitches I like who just moved on. The bitches <laughs> I love, they had to fuck everything up before they. Because they loved you too. No, the fuck they didn't. Like is way better. Life, like way. Like better. is way better. Hell yeah. You love somebody now, you gotta do extraordinary shit. Right. That you don't even want to do. Come on, man. Like what? Drive while you crying. Come on. <laughs> For sure. That shit is so hard to do. No, seriously, it's so hard. Your eyes get so blurry, uh, and then you start speeding, and you're like, I'm about to kill myself, so let me just pull over. Yeah, see? I never get to like that, but like, motherfuckers be out here jumping on top of cars. Yeah, don't on, drive and cry, Jumping out guys. of windows, yeah. shooting everybody in the house, no, then man. they self. Shoot yourself first. Come if on, you bro. think you gonna kill yourself. Do that first. Do you first. <laughs> just to make sure it's gonna work. You know who I feel bad for right now? The niggas who ever pulled up at her mama or her grandma house outside. I just wanna talk. Oh, I feel man. bad for them. I just wanna talk ass niggas. Like, they talk to the parents and say, can I talk to your daughter? They're like, no, nah, they just pull up. She's, don't fucking talk to me no more. Ten minutes later, hey, come outside. I love that. I just want to talk. Oh, my God. No, that, that's, that the nigga, that's the nigga that's going to put, that's the nigga that's gonna put hands on you. I'm ever. telling you. That nigga uh -uh. beat women up. No. That's not true. No. 
Are you sure? No. Yes. Let's that's see what the, the comments say. That nigga whoop bitch's ass. The nigga pull up on you unannounced, and then he park fucked up. Like if the nigga, <laughs> oh, like, like if that nigga park. So can... But I'm saying if the nigga just pull up and then like at a slant and just get out right. and leave the door open. I just want to talk. <laughs> he, he parked the car in the crosswalk. Come on, bro. Oh, <laughs> His car in traffic. Come on, man. That's so funny. The nigga pull up at a family uh, function true. and he wanna he wanna argue. If you don't handle him right, he will in front of your whole family. Well tell him how you on Instagram liking these nigga pictures in. <laughs> Show me yes. Yeah, yeah that, exactly. Man. Pray for uh, that nigga, man. <sighs> Black love be different though. It ain't it ain't like the Titanic where a nigga gonna freeze to death for a bit. No. Black men not doing all that shit. A black man will let your ass freeze and float down, but he gonna tell every bitch he ever fucked with about how a bitch loved him enough to freeze. <laughs> I had a bitch freezing. You out here talking all in this nigga face. <laughs> Bitches out here freezing. Bitches, me. Me, bitch, bitch, I'm the frozen one, bitch, and you all out here kicking with this nigga. <laughs> You know how many bitches I left in the Himalayas? Bitch, you fucking with the coldest nigga in Atlanta. You out here with these old lame ass nigga, man. I got bitches freezing for me. Man. Man. Bitch, they call me the abominable snowman. <laughs> bitch, I here all in a nigga fade, cackling this shit. Bitch, I'm the Yeti. That is so I tell funny. you what, bitch. You frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Black love different than hell, bro. <laughs> I don't want to talk about love anymore. Uh, <laughs> whatever. You always, you be, you see, you think, I done figured your bullshit out. You trying to act like all these niggas did you so wrong. I never and said you do, you, ah, I'm it, oh, a hopeless shut romantic. The fuck up. I like, am a hopeless romantic. You I say shit love. like barf. I can't wait to you be You say barf, again. so I know you believe all the shit you see in the movies. <laughs> you think a nigga gonna show up before you go on the trip. <laughs> A train and shit in the rain. Be Simone! Yeah! Wait! Get yeah. the fuck out of here, hey, bro. First of all, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Get that stupid shit out of <laughs> your head. Because we live in a new. Ain't no running to catch a bitch no. last first minute of before all, she a catch a ran flight. Me before. No. Uh -huh. Down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody running through the airport. How the fuck you gonna get through the airport How security? You gonna get through You're gone. The bitches go. As soon as your bitch enter the airport, if you don't get out right then before that goddamn opening door closes, it's there, over with. The bitch is gone. Come on, bro. You gonna be looking hey. in the airport. <laughs> Sir, 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 you can't be over here, sir. You don't Rebecca! have a ticket, sir, sir. I'm going to ask you one more time, sir. Rebecca! Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time. Yeah, I hear you. I hear what you said because you step over here, sir. Yeah, I know, sir. She's my life. Sir. But she's going to walk out of my life. I understand life. all that, sir. I understand all that, sir. But can you step over here to the left? Oh, he's going to jail. Hell yeah, you're going to jail. Just start yelling out any bitch name. <laughs> Anywhere where they got heavy security, you're going to jail. <laughs> Rebecca! You're going to jail, <laughs> man. Rebecca. We got to detain you. You can't even be in love, bro. Hey, man, come, <laughs> hey, what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> the fuck? You the can't even be What's wrong with him? Like he's in love. He's don't tell him what he might do. Bro, you, you can kill him. They put you back there in the airport jail. <laughs> bro, what you do? Man, the motherfuckers found a pocket knife in my luggage. I ain't know the bitch was in there. Damn, that fucked up. What you do, bro? Oh, man, man, I had my gun in my bag. It was loaded. I forgot. Bro, oh, that's fucked up, my nigga. What you did? Oh, nigga, I had some weed. Man, I was looking for Rebecca. This <laughs> motherfucker. And then all the niggas who done did worse shit than you be like, oh shit, don't sit by this nigga, bro. <laughs> this nigga in love. He's crazy. He did it for love. Bro, we going home. This nigga ain't getting out, bro. He did it for love. <laughs> that nigga done came out here with no airport, Guys, nothing. Guys, do not believe them. Whatever, bro. Man, don't you run to no goddamn airport. Hey. Don't you run to the bus station. Hey, shout out to all the niggas out there who think they girl love them like you love her. Bro, it's over with. You stupid. You, she, you, ain't, you ain't the nigga she like, bro. It's not our fault. Like, you know what? What's the next topic? Bro, that Jennifer Hudson shit got me looking at shit totally different. What, it, what happened with that? Bro, Jennifer Hudson got the nigga at home being a good father, teaching the baby how to read. Did she cheated on him. She cheated on him with, with the who? nigga who pushed the button. What's the button? The producer nigga. This nigga produced gospel rap and then fucked all up in this man' wife. He produces gospel rap. Shit. Well, that's what happens when. That's what happened. That's what out? happens. That's, That's what, what happened. happened. How did they find you out? You start trying to put something Shit, in. They posted to, that mm -hmm. day. You know when somebody fucking your woman. He you knew. Know. He Bruh. knew. Ain't he a wrestler? Did they yeah. get a divorce? Bro, if your woman fucked somebody out? else, she won't even she... look at you that much. 
If you ask her a question and she don't even turn around. No, they was married guy. for a minute, right? No, they, no, they were was engaged. engaged for 10 years. And she kicked him out for the producer. Bruh, he was the baby mama in that situation. That's so sad. She drew, he was like, baby, let's get married. Well, like, how did he address like her? How did he address her? Did he have his arms Shit, folded? Shit, after that. <laughs> like, was he at the top of the stairs? Like, well. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, finally. well, well, well. Look who decided to come home. <laughs> this nigga. Look who finally decided <laughs> to come, to come on home. <laughs> this nigga got a room home. Jen? Where were you, Jen? <laughs> Where were you? So, uh, so let, let me guess. <laughs> You're at the, at the studio. studio. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> let me guess. Right. <laughs> and so you the first couple in. times she came home, he was trying to be a good husband. For she, sure. Hey, babe, what's up? You hungry? Wow. I already ate. How's the album? It's Great. good. Great. When am I going to hear something? <laughs> oh, you know, when it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> she she playing the nigga off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hey, know, we got to get ready to go. I'll probably leave tomorrow. We're going to go to Atlanta and work on some shit. Oh, okay, okay. Is there anything you need me to do? Cheating I mean, is you sad. Might, hey. She saying shit like, you know, just do what you do. You know, whatever. <laughs> do what you feel. Have fun. I love you a little money. <laughs> you know, go do. Don't you like paint? Don't he, spend it all on He sounded money. like a real bitch. I got, my own, I got my own money. I'm good. I mean, I'm straight. I got the wrestling shit. You know, I'm good. He's a wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what she be saying. You a wrestler? Wow. <laughs> when you start this? Ah, uh, that's fucked up. You know, I, I got the money until your little wrestling shit take off. Hey, he, um, mm -hmm. no, that's bad business. Yeah. You don't want that. That's so fucked up. But you up. know what? You it is, it's fucked up, but the man in me, I don't give a, I don't feel sorry for no nigga get cheated. That's just part of being a man. Man the fuck up, bro. Getting cheated on just like when it's your homeboy birthday and you already drunk and they want to do some more shots. Just take your shit, bro. Everybody get a turn. <laughs> Everybody get a turn. Have you been cheated on? Everybody Shit. plays the fool. Yeah. That's what Probably. you listen to when you leave. You know what? <laughs> Have you been cheated on too? Yeah. But, but you know what? Your what I'm so proud of is I ain't. Yeah, of course. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm most proud of is all the times that I didn't find out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a good cheater. Hell yeah. You don't know how much uh, of my life you might have saved by being discreet. Yeah. Because when you're a nigga, you, hey, sometimes you out here getting some pussy. You, you think like, what my bitch doing? See how quiet she got. Mm -hmm. Listen to that old Johnny Taylor. I never Who's before. making love to your old lady while you out making love? Mm. I just assume the worst. <laughs> I, I take it all the way that I assume the worst. Y'all are so negative. Bruh, I every, assume the worst. Mm -hmm. I assume my girl run cocaine in her pussy. Can y'all please, okay, like, please just this read bitch the secret? A trafficking mule. Like, what this, this what's the secret? Can y'all please read the secret? No, Bro, that shit fake too. No, it's not. We are black. That shit does not apply to us. Yes, yes it, it does. does. No, it don't. The secret yes, it changed does. my life. You ain't got to so watch serious. the secret. You just got to actually do it. Tell him, Clayton. Man, Clayton been on that shit way before that shit came out. He doesn't even know what the secret is. See, Clayton, you're on my side. Clayton, tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her who the nigga you know that had the first version of the of the secret bootleg on HD. Come on, bro. Man, first of all, come on. I was watching the secret when didn't nobody but the niggas who sell oils and incense had it. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Them niggas sold me that. I had the secret. So I had a whole. You, oh look, I had the secret. I had a whole bunch of Michael Carlos? Jackson concerts from Bucharest. I had the real meaning of Christmas. I had some holy tablets. I had all types of DVDs back in the gap. The secret, yeah, that's some of that shit worked. No, but it worked, but you ain't got to get it packaged to you. You just got to do it. It's not about it working. Some it's about it work. you just being positive. I be mean, nah, positive as like fuck. This, so but that's what the 85 South made, show is for. We made the, we made the to present. Niggas on the negativity. We made the present in the past. Right? Talk to him. For sure. We made the present in the past. For sure. Right? Right. I so thought then, about this episode eight months so, ago. So when, if we making the present while we in the past, why when we get to the present, you only focused on the present and the future, right? That's why I fucks with this nigga. You feel me? He, he didn't even say shit. Yes, the so fuck he did. Yes, it did. Come on, bro. Okay, explain, Clayton. Okay, so in the past, teach. Did, I thought about being to the level where I'm at. I thought about doing the things that I've done. I thought about that, right? Then you get there and you actually achieve some of them things that you thought that you put out there, that you put on your list that you wanted to do. Now that you achieve those, you're not looking. For the next thing, you worried about the present. Well, what's next? What I gotta do? That's the next. That's the future. No, no. You gotta look at it the same way. You're not looking at it the same way. No. That's why. Why you think people get to the level and then they fucking die out? They fucking fizzle out. You feel me? It's not. It's because they not looking at it the same fucking way. Clayton, I don't worried about what's next. What I know <laughs> because you need somebody to put it to you in a Hallmark card. <laughs> 
<laughs> like The Secret, you need a nice little narrator, a nice little white lady's voice that soothes you. Yeah. And you need it to be a flashy project with CGI on it. Yeah. I believe that too. I'm just telling you. We thought all well, this see, shit up. Racism in got me so fucked up. I, I don't even present. be thinking nothing to apply to niggas, bro. So keep in going. the present, you're thinking about the future. In the present, you think about I don't know why y'all yes. be getting caught up in this shit. This shit does not apply to black people. We ain't supposed to be here. We visitors. <laughs> niggas don't need to know nothing about no secrets. We couldn't even read. You think they gonna let us have secrets? <laughs> <laughs> we just got our reading rights. Okay, you guys. All if you want to be a millionaire, right? nigga, just wake up every day and, and visualize. Nigga, you better get out here and work all till the viewers, you die. All levity aside, can you please... Watch the secret. It's cool. Watch it and read the book, you guys. And once you do it, please DM me. And if you have any questions, so or you want really any just promoting your DMs. Just How fuck, much? Don't DM this? shit. No, I like Put it on the people. page. Just leave it in the comments. Fuck the secret. <laughs> if you I have said any questions it. about, you know. That's right. Anything. Shout out to all my niggas who locked up who ain't gonna see this till later on when they get out. You was locked up five <laughs> years ago, but by the time you discover this shit, it's the too shit, late. the shit you thought about in jail, now you doing it, <laughs> and you will see this. You don't need no goddamn secret to be who the fuck right. you want to be. They were unconsciously right. using We just uh, told tactics. you the secret. We telling you the secret. It's not a fucking secret. We, we telling niggas if they listen. Niggas listen what they nigga is. They know what me First and Clayton of all, saying. While Carlos is saying all of this. What? he un. Equivocally, you I ain't know. I, yeah, you sub, did, that's a real word. Unsubconsciously, no. unsubconsciously, he unsubconsciously, I unconsciously, I unconsciously uses the secret, and he just want to act like he doesn't because everything okay. that so he does. How amazing this comedian is! He has manifested check, all this. All right, well, let me tell the niggas who don't know how to manifest. Then setting goals and thinking positively about himself. That's why he is who he is to this day. You gotta he look at goal. life like you already he, moving. Exactly. So check this out. Secret. Let me tell them niggas then. So look, nigga, check this out, bro. I don't know who the fuck you are right now. You could be a nigga who working on the grill right now. Your aspirations don't need to be the fucking manager. You need to be like, I'm just doing this shit until I really can goddamn play saxophone or whatever the fuck your dreams are, bro. You got to look at all the shit that you do in the it's meantime so that you that you don't want to do. You got to use that shit to get to what you do want to do. That's the whole secret of doing what the fuck you want to do. You do enough shit you don't want to do, and you will earn like some equity into the shit that you do want to do. But get Hell good, yeah. get good at the shit that you do want to do. Yeah. Like, if you're not good at the saxophone, if you're not working at being good at the saxophone, then the fuck is you doing? Come on, bro. You can't have the dream if you ain't putting Lisa in Lisa Simpson work was working. a dog because she she practiced, bro. Who? She worked. Ain't nobody better Who? on the saxophone than Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons. Yeah. Nobody I can fuck with Lisa well, Simpson. Well, you know, bro. Bleeding Gums Murphy. He was her, that was her that mentor. That was her mentor, you know. That's yeah. where she got it from. Bro, Lisa Simpson, one of the coldest saxophone players of this fucking, of my generation. Her and, her and Kenny G. Are you Googling Lisa Simpson? No. Oh, I'm okay. sending a text. A lot of thing. motherfuckers don't know. Lisa Simpson checking. played the saxophone on the original Simpsons themes. That was all Lisa. Carlos. <clears throat> Whatever. Motherfuckers have no culture. Uncultured swine. Oh, man. <laughs> Get some culture about yourself, my <laughs> nigga. No, that's I mean, what, that's what 2018 all you about. You feel attacked, B? No, I oh, stand okay. by my opinion. I know you should. I'm fine. Nobody has to be on my side. Fuck no, we fuck with you. you it, even after putting your head in a bag, a plastic bag. What plastic that, bag? Whatever that video you was doing when you was in your bag. Oh, I'm just really. In my I was room. like, this bitch. It wasn't a plastic bag. It was actually like, a bitch bag that was Suffocate her goddamn. <laughs> she down a, a Kroger right. shopping a bag. bag. But I'm saying people took the look in my bag challenge too far. One nigga. Oh yeah, for sure. Plastic bag. Like, you don't die, bro. No, for sure. What? Somebody was in Are the you, did you incited a dumbass dangerous yes. No, it wasn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Bro. Why you don't go to our media But hold on. Check this out. Out of all the people I know on Instagram, B. Simone, the only... Like, how, how many you followers know? you got? Like, 400,000 I have almost half a million. Woo! And, and, but look, she'll post a picture, and damn near every follower she got like that motherfucker. I'm like, how the fuck this picture get all these My goddamn. analytics are just funny now. I just got a whole bunch of niggas who, they not following me. They just watching to see if I made it yet. <laughs> Nigga check in and be like, oh, he still got that, that goddamn challenge. He all right, yeah. <laughs> Just don't even know. I, I'm saving I love up. my followers. Thank you guys I'm so much. I'm so scared support. of being broke. I don't know what to do no more. For I sure. ain't spent no money in four months. My <laughs> niggas ain't dynamic enough for me on that bitch. People be doing the same shit. The same shit. 
Now they not dynamic, man. Do some new I shit. I seriously man. had to unfollow so shit. many people for like posting Every stupid time. ass negative shit. I can't stand negative man, shit on my timeline. Get line. your ass out. Right. Like, oh yeah. my god, niggas ain't girl. Block. I'm blocking you, man. Like if you still saying niggas ain't shit, you've been saying <clears throat> niggas ain't shit since 2014. And, the, and the crazy part is, niggas didn't came so far that they ain't even getting credit. Niggas have made a, a drastic change. This is true. This is true. I'm, black that's, people as a whole. I, but I'm saying I know black people, but I'm talking about niggas. niggas. Bro, niggas been doing You're a You're about to say something job. so retarded. No, I'm not. I'm proud of all my niggas. What are you about to say? Because I was just, I had went home the other day, and I was just riding through my old projects and all the shit. That, I was just looking at all the shit that we didn't have. And I think, like, some parts of your life you ain't never supposed to go back to. It's just, like, supposed to be a memory. But I was right there, like, damn, we, we ain't have shit. Where you from? The projects. Of Atlanta? Uh-uh. Mississippi. So I'm, I'm from the oh. poorest state. <clears throat> and we was poor in the poorest state. I'm like, damn, that's double yeah, fucked up. We had funny. to, so that means we would have to get some money just to be poor, like just to start off as poor. So we was like, I was born in the negative kind of. Hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> All my brothers and sisters bigger than me because my mama got better insurance. <laughs> my little sister taller than me. <laughs> Hell yeah, good bone structure and shit. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> well, look how, look where he is now. I don't know why people be trying to get. I don't know why people be giving me. When you die, you have a funeral. Black people don't have funerals. What we have? Home going celebration. Stand up. Unless it's a thug, then it's interesting because the pastor don't know what to say. He's just up there making up shit, saying everything and nothing at the same time. Now Carlos was Carlos, (laughs) and every time you saw Carlos. He was Carlos. Hey, that ain't that ain't shit. Mm-mm, that ain't shit. Keep Stop supporting me. Fuck HBO. Come to when you see me post where I'm at. Come see me there. Yes. <laughs> HBO gonna pay me Wait, one when's check. The next show. And they gonna play that shit for the for next the twenty of their life. years. <laughs> ain't no more HBO check. Watch that shit and goddamn come see me. Oh, they ain't do no residuals? Bruh, you know how this shit go. Oh. You know how that shit go. When's your next show, Clayton? That's why when you do uh, some shit on TV, you just show? be like, bye jokes. Yeah, that's gone. Whenever. Whenever anybody wants to hear it. Oh. I want to come to your Because they can buy the album. Please buy the album. Hey, hey, on some real the shit. Same. The album it's funny as a right motherfucker. Now. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Buy that bitch. And I like the cover. You know why? And I'm not doing that shit, uh, what you call I ain't doing shit, man. I, ain't I like the cover that you selected. Yeah. It reminded me of, like, them old school album covers, nigga. Yeah, that's what I did. I shot it in L.A. So like, you like I'm a real rapper on that bitch. Like, out the trunk. Yeah. That's some real gangster yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't know. I knew it. I made the dude get in the trunk Excuse to take me. the picture. <laughs> I did. I feel like when you pan, it's your vision. Get in the trunk. He was like, in the trunk? I said, get in, get in the trunk. Get in the trunk. He was like, but I, I said... You want me to let the seat down? Excuse me. So I let the seat down. Excuse he me. crawled in the other burping one. burping in. <laughs> I keep saying Put him in the trunk. I said, yeah, and they me. little terrible burps, too. Like, they like poop. Can y'all hear me? They like poop out your burps. mouth. Yeah, we can it's hear you. It's not spaghetti. No, it is. Yeah, yeah we can is. hear you. We, and we can smell them. What does it smell like? Burp. Huh? Shout out Bark. to these good-ass microphones, bro. We, got <laughs> some, we came up on these bitches. Shut up. We went and bought some media mics. They used to host, like, Geraldo had these bitches. Can y'all hear this plastic yes. on the mic? Yeah. I'm trying. Is Ooh. that what you were chewing? Yeah, the plastic off his water bottle. You sh- you stop trying to quit smoking or something? I like chewing plastic. Oh. <laughs> like the little things on the the price tags. I like yeah. to chew those little things. Yeah, you a real hood bitch. Or like bottle caps. <laughs> 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 hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. I don't know she where you've been. Sweet, but but let me catch you up on what's going on right now. Love is fake. No! It ain't no secret. Drop out of school and pursue your dreams. What? No, don't listen to school. Don't, Dead ass. No. Do not listen to school. Fuck school. You I can't believe in the last point, shit. but the first two points are very Don't invalid. listen to school. Learn what you can from the motherfucker, but don't listen to him. Come on, don't listen to him, bro. Because they'll tell you some hey, shit that ain't Don't let school shit. fuck up your education. No, school will have you fucked up. They'll try to, you know. I didn't, if they say you got some shit I in, school, in school. If they I say you got some now. shit in school, you got it. Tell them, your, you tell them your testimony, bro. I'm just saying, if they say you got some shit in school, you like got it. Like the indentation of a fucking leaf. 
No. no, I don't know. I just remember that from science. I've no. never used that ever in my life. Yeah. You weren't supposed and they was, to use And you know what the fucked up part about that? I N D E N T A. That shit was fucked up because they was they were serious about that leaf project shit. Like, come on, you ain't got no. It's making a plant grow. Yeah, you had to bring like twenty different variations and some seeds, and then like some pine cones and shit. I remember that shit, and they was they was going hard. Like, come on, you can't get out of seventh grade until you do this shit. I'm like, nigga. Y'all was Ooh, doing like, that in the seventh grade? Bruh, it was, no, it was part of, sure. they made it part like of science. like your core curriculum shit. Nah. Class. Nah, they, they, class? they have, they have some classes you gotta take. About sex. How about that? How about nah. y'all keep it more real with high school They did, kids? they kept it too real. No, they didn't t- say shit. And when we had the, sh- the sex talk at my school, they brought these motherfuckers who put up a big ass film projecting thing and then they just showed us a whole bunch of STDs. One no. nigga had ca- cauliflower growing out of his dick. You're fucking lying. N- nigga just had an open, nigga about? had what a hole in his lip. No, and they was like, they this is... Well, I went to a white school. They didn't do nah, that. Nah, they did that. These so motherfuckers showed up what, on a regular uh, what day. What grade was that? Do? That was in ninth, high school, like ninth grade. They didn't do that to my class. And they used to do it every year, like the first week of school. They'll do like the uh, STD orientation shit, try to scare you out of having sex. I was like, who was the nigga with the cauliflower growing off his dick? <laughs> and why he let them get a picture of this shit? You go in there to get your medicine for this cauliflower you growing off picture? your dick. And they like, bro, can we get a picture for this motherfucker? Uh, a little, little slash closer show? to the left? Okay, nah, I'm bro, closer. just let me get the cauliflower medicine and get the fuck on uh, out of here. But bro, Carlo. we'll give you 30% off your cauliflower medicine from here on out. That's fucking gross. I didn't. No, but they, used, them they people, showed bro. a lot of those. Like, it was a lot of slides, slide after slide. And all of them wasn't dicks or pussies. Like, and some nah. of them might be nigga mouth. Right. And, like, his whole shit. You bro, like, they got some oh, STDs where you'll just have an open sore on your on foot. His eye. Right. No, seriously, I seen that on Google. Yeah. Like, when you get scared in Google shit. Yeah. You can get herpes all in <laughs> no. your ass. You're like, shit. okay. I have Fuck cancer. Hey, you know what? I'm real. Pro- this this episode been real informative, my nigga. No, I it felt- hasn't. Yeah, it has. No, it hasn't. All right, well, fuck it then. You always. Because everything. Hey, he's more negative than me. Every time I try to inform the people. What do we inform the people? Go ahead. These Negroes, nigglets, want to be negative. Go ahead. Inform them. No, I already told them everything I think. Tell them some more shit. Tell them. (laughs) We we just made. Don't be facetious. You out of information. You know, when you said it was a nigga watching this, like, facetious, I don't even like fish. That's fucking retarded, man. Much love to everybody who's been supporting the 85 South Show. Uh, get you one of these dope-ass jerseys. Hit the website. Grab a cap. Uh, shit. Get you one of these. You can't get one of these. This is exclusive. But, yeah, grab some shit. Grab. What the fuck is wrong with you? What song is that? I don't know. Some Does anybody from, know that song? Some shit from the 50s. What is it? I love that bitch. Oh. That song called Fucking Problem. You, I, I love bad bitches. Yeah. That's my fucking problem. I love that yes, shit. That's I what have. that was? No. <laughs> he said the whole first verse. We always <laughs> highlight black history on here. See, that was a moment in black history. Black people just take the part of us. If we don't know the name of it, just the part we remember, that's the name of that shit. Exactly. I'm about to put y'all on my Insta. Okay. We're about to be popping, man. You ever go on be some on Insta? Do you get followers when uh, I do that? Yeah, I've been on there. I don't know. I don't know. Hi. Hey, we're here live, 85 South Show. The fuck? Say something else. You That's it. Time. That's all I'm okay, saying. Okay, Clayton, is there anything you want to say? Ba- bat your eyes. <laughs> we out here with it, though. Tell them people to follow us and shit like that. Welcome back to another. Let me look at some comments, man. What that shit say? Carlos has got that big boy flow. Don't say that. Don't say that. That ain't no compliment. What did they say? Big boy be snapping. Carlos got that big boy flow. No, nah, no, he be snapping on the albums. On the albums. I seen him rap one time on some shit. I was like, no. Shut up, be Simone. Sorry. Man, fuck them comments, bro. Clayton, what's your Instagram? C L A Y T O N. English. Oh, English. Yeah. That's my nigga, bro. We're what are celebrating say? a big year out here. What do you say? Read these. Naturally, Nicole Bree. We're about to start crying. Is this? Oh, yeah, rest in peace, D.C., Big Mama, sending condolences from the 85, 85 South fam. Yeah. Definitely want to say that. See, um, they've been missing you, bro. Yeah, rest in peace. Oh, that's, your, that's your stalker, Nicole Bree. Oh, Oscar Butler, somebody pay the ransom to Will Ever kidnap Clayton English. Where the fuck he been at? I been with the money. Um, Franklin's kidnapped me. Uh, Tim Sum, Clayton's nerd impression is funny as fuck. 
I rock with the 85 South show. Y'all hilarious. Can't wait to see this get picked up by a network. Woo-woo-woo. We just, are a network. We are. Tell them what we are, This is a network. We hey, building. Hey, you can make the shit a live channel. I'm asking, man. Don't fuck you just go stop in the middle. You can make the shit a live channel where you just show old episodes on constant repeat. You know what I'm talking about? They got live channels Well, you now. can loop that shit. You know what I'm talking about? No. You don't know what I'm talking about. No, no, All the shit on YouTube. You know they got live YouTube. Is everybody in the room following me? Do I need a, a laser pointer? <laughs> what do I need? Give me a sharp. Give me one of the dry race markers. No, the live shit. And run that bitch. So if it's live, how are you running it? <sighs> I'm sorry. No, it's a live feed of stuff that we've already taped. Like yeah. they've got like so right it's not now, live. like right now on YouTube, they got like live Family Guy episodes running all day. So it's not live. The live feed is live, B Simone. I don't understand that. Don't worry about it. Because <laughs> it's like at, see, as high as I am right now. See, this why this why I don't come here as much as I used to. <laughs> Bruh, this right here. I did not exactly. I did not know. I don't come here. I did not know that you was holding us responsible to. for the shit that we did not know. <laughs> if I would have known that you was over there, no, 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 no. It's not that. Okay. It's not that. I'm telling y'all. All right. <laughs> I don't know what. what you don't know the live it. shit. Nobody know what YouTube live is. That's you can fine. watch the game on that shit now. I believe you. Shut your ass up. <laughs> we hear that shit from you. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, man. But look, we are a network. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to push the needle forward. Y'all over here, y'all want to stay in quicksand? Go ahead. Hey, I'm man. not throwing no vines. <laughs> not throwing no vines nor no sticks. Do you understand what I'm saying? Get right or get left. So imagine the shit oh, always fun. on. Imagine 85 South Show, so the episodes you ain't never saw, it's always so on. So that bitch ain't gonna in. keep playing. It's gonna go from one to all the motherfuckers. Then when yes. that shit run out, it'll loop. I feel yes. you. I feel what you're saying. Yes. And you turn it on when you want to turn it on. Oh, it took that for y'all to figure it out? Fuck it's y'all. It's not y'all, bro. I was following no. up. Y'all. Y'all mm. slow today. Fuck it, bro. How the high person? I'm high, too. The most enlightened. Because. No, I'm just playing. But for real. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. This what when I saw that, a lot of people think we just be looking at the wall. It's a screen over there, bro. We be pulling. Chad be over there pulling up shit. I'm tired of this Don't shit, show the bro. Wall. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of motherfuckers trying to leak these pictures and shit, Snapchats of Malia Obama. She can't live. Leave her alone. How old is she? She grown, goddamn it. She what go I'm to saying. college. Like what? That's so. She irrelevant. old enough to smoke with cigarettes. If she want to smoke with cigarettes, goddamn it, let her smoke with cigarettes. <laughs> Think she was in the what, bathroom what did getting they leave high. Her? To, she was in the bathroom getting high the other day, and she knew it. She was on there getting fucked up. Weed? No, that was a cigarette. She, she was on Snapchat, and that she was, was like, Get "That wasn't no, that wasn't no weed. That was the weed. That wasn't the weed. Bro, it she wasn't, be high it as wasn't a thick enough to be weed." Well, she was smoking out a vape pen or some shit. That she was definitely. But in that she house. posted it herself. Yeah, no, somebody, uh, somebody else, else keep Who was posting. In the bathroom? I don't, her whole ass. I don't that know. Bitch needs to get it slapped. ain't even that, that, that. That's the thing about it. It ain't even the shit that is like she posting. It's like these motherfuckers like, like sneaking and sending that that's shit. So fucked up. C- cut the shit, bro. Leave her alone. Yeah, and you, she just don't know that Barack Obama, the type of daddy, where it's like if he see you on the video smoking. He going to get in there and smoke with you. <laughs> right. You're grown. Do what you want to do. There's way worse shit you could be doing. Exactly. Shout out to the black parents who love their kids. Let them smoke in the house so you don't have to go outside. And smoke with strangers. And, and risk going to jail and shit. We all had that one cool ass auntie let all the high school kids come over there and smoke and fuck. It was a lot of kids made over that. You know that auntie that worked late night at the hospital? She was like, all right, I'm going to work. Don't y'all be over here doing no bullshit. Keep my damn dough locked. All right, auntie. She done left y'all in there with four hoes. Huh, order some pizza and shit. <laughs> Don't be sitting here smoking. Y'all go in the back, y'all smoking. You know that, that loose ass auntie? Yeah. That's how everybody in high school got pregnant, bro. Oh we, me and Chico had a show the other night. All these kids said they was born in 1999. I was like, damn. So I was in fourth period with some of y'all. Your mama was pregnant with you. These the babies. They mamas was pregnant with them while we was in high school. So I'm like, damn. No, nah, if they was born in 99, they backed that ass But up, I'm saying I was in high school in 99. And some of the girls I was in high school with was pregnant and had babies in 99. And they in college now. That's what I'm saying. They'll back that ass up, baby. Exactly. 
<laughs> that's what they gonna call them? No, the ninety nine. Back that baby. ass up, generation. For the nine nine and two thousand, that's a back that ass up, baby. They gonna call them the Cash Money Kids. Come on, man. No, I don't know. I don't. I mean, what the fuck? You don't want to be Derrick Cash Rose Money Kids. Derrick Rose just say he gonna take some time off and think about it if he want to play ball some more. Yeah. I don't know why the fuck he did that. His knee did the press No, conference. fuck that, bro. The no, position, his knee did the talking. His knee sat up there and said, hey, no, we're going to sit down. But the shit is, Derrick Rose team. was on the Cleveland Cavaliers. He he working with LeBron James, bro. He don't have to do that much. Show up, be Derrick Rose, no, come no. in for it. I was like, bro, I don't know if I'm going to quit, but I'm thinking about some shit. Y'all got enough niggas. I'd be on the bench if y'all <laughs> ain't no way I'm just going to leave all that money on the table, though. I think they owe him like seventy-two million or something from the Adidas shit. Right. Ain't no way I'm leaving. How long you got to play to get that? I'm playing. I'm playing till I get every dollar. Yeah, I'd be sixty-six on the bench. <laughs> Why are you still playing? They owe me three hundred thousand. <laughs> I'm quitting late October. <laughs> I'm seventy-two million. I'm just a different kind of nigga, bro. I'm the type of nigga who gonna get all the paper, bro. For real, for real. My loyalty is unmatched. They give me 72 million. I don't own nothing else but Adidas. All of them. I'm going to start wearing old Adidas before they was the shit. Fuck that, bro. I be seeing niggas lose contracts because they be lose. They have a sponsorship or some shit with Budweiser, get caught. You know what I mean? Fucking up, drinking Kool-Aid or something. We don't fuck with Kool-Aid. Didn't nobody tell me this. Nah, you got to know. You got to ask. Well, nah, it's just got to be that direct competition. Yep. Like, yeah, you can't fuck with the other team. Mm-hmm. That's why we be drinking Red Bull and the same motherfuckers who make that. I don't even know no other energy drinks. I don't, I don't either. I don't know no. Who, who, they got other energy drinks? Besides? Not that I know of. Shit. <laughs> I heard a rumor that they had some new shit, but. Yeah, it's like a speakeasy. You got to go. But one thing I do know. And it's and it bad for you. Red Bull give you wings, my nigga. Chad called me as soon as this shit dropped the other day, because this nigga is the only real Mace fan I ever met in my life. Like, the nigga who actually bought his album and liked it. I ain't never met two niggas who did that. Chad wear his hat like Mace. Bruh. Where it's backwards and you can't see his hey, eyebrows. Chad hit me way too excited. Bruh, Mace back, my nigga. The rap game is in shambles after this. I was like, hey, he bro, called, he calm called you, down. He called you with welcome back playing in the background. Come on, welcome back. back. Oh, Harlem the world. <laughs> Baby Stace on deck. Blinky blink, what's Blinky happening? Blink, blink, blinky blink. <laughs> Yeah, Chad got me way too excited about it. You heard the Mace diss, though, from Cameron? Come on, man. Come on, bro. What are we, what, like, what are we doing now? What are we doing? Where we at with this shit? We just going with, with, with diss songs from... From, from uh, 10 years ago. Yeah, man, you been getting diss. And what I want to know is why nobody brought up in the words of the late, great Pimp C. Come on. You know who got caught in the boy with the Range Rover. Come on, man. You know who got caught, caught in, the in the Range Rover with the boy. Come on. Now, wasn't that Mace? Come on now. Didn't Mace get caught in the Range Rover with the boy? Multiple times. With the what? Multiple times. With the boy. See, the Chad boy? don't want to hear this shit. Mace got on, caught bro. in the Range Rover with the boy. That's what I wasn't going to say that. Clayton brought it up. With, that was with the boy. They have some hooks. And you know what type of boy I'm talking about. They have some hooks. You know the type of boy I'm talking about. You know. With a boy? You one know them. the type of boy. I, with one of them girl boys. No, one of them boys. Let's hear it for the boy. One of them boys. Yeah. Mace? Yeah. Yeah, we got some, caught in a Range Rover with the boy. That's some old shit. Look, bring up, man. You pull I'm up the Pimp C interview if you need the reference points. Bro. Come on, man. Pimp C interview, Come man. On, man. Where you go in? But I don't know, man. They Cam you know been dissing Mace. Cam been dissing mm. Mace since what 2004? Come on, but man. But then they made up like six seconds and, later. But see, that's the it thing. Was, oh, just playing. No, nah, ain't no. Yeah, because you play. I mean, I, I think who they sold put more it albums? I think they it put it together. This the real lesson is though is when you and your partners fall out and people get mad at you. Listen to what they are saying. That's how they feel about your stinking ass. Mm. Have y'all watched Mason's Sermon? Motherfucker get mad and tell y'all the truth. I don't give a fuck, and that's why you don't care about people's feelings because your motherfucking uncle got killed. Oh, okay. <laughs> you been wanting to say that shit. <laughs> that's true. Yep. Watch Damn, that's so Y'all true. seen Mason's sermons? Uh -uh. No. How are they? Bro, I live in Atlanta and don't know where his church is. He has a church here. Come on, somewhere. Come on, man. He's still a pastor? Come on now. Come on. No way. Come on. Yeah. I cannot believe he has a congregation. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hell yeah. Seriously? Watch him. He out there. He no. on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. He, he got some videos. Cameron posted them. <laughs> when they was beefing. Mace is still a But they saying Cam lost, but I mean, hey man. Hey bro. Whatever, man. You I don't still know. getting money? Niggas lose every day, B. Bro, Cameron the type of nigga where it's like, I don't feel like if he ain't put the fur coat on yet, shit ain't official. Right. Like all the beefs that Cameron ever been in, when he dropped the disc, the nigga be in the fur coat. The nigga has not put the fur coat on yet. So y'all can y'all can say what y'all right, want to say, right, America, right. the general public. But until you see Killer Cam with the fur coat and the flip phone, shut the fuck up. In the in the pink. Killer Cam. I mean, niggas who really in the rap game still got the flip phone with the antenna with the look. You pull the little antenna out. When I see Killer Cam with the with the motherfucking fur coat, the flip, cause you know the nigga ain't even gonna when he do the real drop this off, he ain't gonna never get off the flip phone the whole time, the whole video he on the phone, and you gonna be like, who the fuck is on the phone with this nigga just who letting him rap to? his verse? <laughs> hold on, hold on, my nigga. So yeah, you were goofy, goofy, and you was yeah, yeah, goofy. you know that's coming. <laughs> He ain't even started double rhyming shit, so I know the beef ain't official. I know it You was a mace mace. I just had a mace face. You just a space case. Put the space in mace face. Double case. Double case. Double case. Tell your sister I miss her face. Blow a kiss. Kiss her lips. I kiss her face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me that flow, but you know it's got to start off with. See, the problem is I'm not going nowhere. You can stab at me, shoot at me. But see, Cam will come on the on the fucking on the beef record and start talking about shit ain't got nothing to do with it. Yo, Jewel's just got the six hundred. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy, he good. Whatever me and Jimmy got going on, we good. I mean, we have taking flights to Vegas. Come on, Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Ziggy just put up one point four million in my kitchen cabinet. I'm kind of full right now. That's just the kind of shit Bill said be doing. Steak. Yo, I'm gonna go ahead four hundred dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and get on these niggas' neck. Yo, we drinking six hundred dollar water over here. We niggas be the, asking me why I don't rap like no it's more. Overpriced. I'm drinking six hundred dollar water here. No water is that much. <laughs> Come no, on, man. Really, $600? nigga? Six hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. You niggas really water. hyping this nigga? First, yo, first of all, just want to say, how you the pastor, son? How you a pet? <laughs> this shit gonna go crazy. Don't never think Mace won shit. You think Jim Jones gonna get involved, bruh? Jim Jones wanna be Cameron friend, friend so bad right now. <laughs> Anything that niggas say, Jim going to do. Are they beefing? It's not even that they beefing, but you know how when you fall out with your partner and you don't know if y'all cool, cool yet? <laughs> like, they fell out and they good. They just waiting on somebody to say, somebody to, somebody to be like, so you going to come by the house? Oh, nigga, I'm in, why you, bro? Wait six years for this shit. Come on, shit. I think the problem with Dipset <laughs> is them niggas don't realize they better together. Come on. Than a part. For sure. Nigga. Nobody want to hear y'all. Like, we rather just see how y'all. See how Mace didn't win? You see how Mace did not win? It's too many elements to this shit. Cameron had us cheering for a nigga named Freaky Ziki when we didn't know who the fuck Freaky Ziki no. was. You remember they dropped three albums and they was like, come on, Freaky, we almost home. I was like, I can't wait for this nigga to get home. <laughs> I don't even you know, know what he, he do is. to. And then when Cameron threw him in the other song, Fuck you R&B niggas, Zeke sing all the hooks. I, and then it made me go back and be like, which what hooks hook did, Zeke? did Zeke sing? <laughs> and was he showing his ass? Nah, man. Enough for Cam to say, fuck you R&B niggas, Zeke sing all the hooks? It was some cold niggas out at that point, Come too. Come on, man. Jaheim was still popping. Mm. Oh, man. Mace. Uh, I, I just, I where, where were your fans at? Like, Bro. everybody that's on Mace. This is not that, official beef. Where was all the Mace fans at I don't know. all these years? Who produced the track? I cannot when believe Mace. he's still a pastor. That was what you called. Is, is that disrespectful, it's knowing that your me. father's a pastor? <laughs> your father ever had a beef with another pastor? Oh, he ever made a, a diss track? No. Uh, you think he ever be so sneak nice. dissing in, in the sermon? <laughs> and to the other Christians <laughs> at that other church. <laughs> But we ain't pointing no fingers at nobody because that ain't what it's God do. <laughs> to these so-called prophets. <laughs> so-called. Amen. 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 That's when the pastor be on his bullshit. That's why he be wanting the crowd to go with him. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you stupid. Because you I can't follow it. everybody. He be over there to sneak this and hell out Amen. your mother. Ain't it, ain't it something? 
Amen. When you get baptized and you still not a Christian. Amen. Amen. Wow. I wonder what God going to say when he see that. Amen. Turn to your Bibles to Genesis. Right there is something to do with what I just said because that's how pastors operate. Okay. Now. You know, you know uh, I'm doing that later on. I'm going to get famous doing comedy. Amen. Then I'm just going to have me a church. Oh, it's going to be lit. All I got... I could be a pa- all I have to do is not cuss. And even now, I can cuss the first two years. No, you can cuss. The first two years, I can cuss and just be like, excuse me, Lord. <laughs> and the people going to be believing in me so much, they're going to take your time. He ain't finished with you yet. This your walk. Excuse me, Lord. My mama used to do that shit all the time. <laughs> Boy, sit your motherfucker. Excuse, excuse me, Lord. Cuss at church and just say, excuse me, Lord. You like can cuss that, in church now. Sense. Apparently, you no, cuss in church now. Cusses in church. Man, I seen them playing all type of songs in church, unedited. Uh, the story of OJ. These is red bottoms. Bodak <laughs> yellow. Yes. Right. Shoes. They was Jesus. playing that. The blood of Jesus. They don't play the clean version. Was on her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> right, bloody shoes. I might sound like a hater when I say this, but they could go on ahead and just eliminate the whole praise dance team. I used to be on the praise dance. Yeah, team. that shit corny as hell, bro. Just let that shit go. It doesn't move your that, spirit. It does not move my spirit. It make me be like, man, let's get the fuck out of here. The mimes is what gets me. I was fucking with the sermon, but this whole goddamn dancing to take me to the king in slow motion with, take man, get that bullshit out of here, bro. I'm hungry as a motherfucker sitting back here, and y'all doing all this bullshit. When they be in them tights. Man, fuck that It's shit. always one extra thing. And then the shit make me, like, yeah, that's oh, the shit that make me uncomfortable. She all in there with that big girl. ass camel toe, <laughs> fat ass booty, thighs, and hips. <laughs> Feet pretty, she ain't got no shoes on. Chill in the church, nipple hard. For sure. Hell yeah. Got a nigga in there thinking, ooh, Lord. <laughs> Take me to the key. Take me. <laughs> I like to go to that motherfucker right now. Oh, man. You ever look at the pastor I wife? She be key. looking like she wants some dick so, so bad from anybody. She... <laughs> oh my gosh, change the subject, guys. No, nah, no. Nah. Shout out to them fine ass pastor wives. Tired of wearing them church dresses. Can't hide all them titties. All them hips and yams. Them hats. <laughs> and ass. Shut up. You know who else deserves a shout out right now? Them women the with the ass that's so fat that the jeans won't fit in the back. It just be that little dent. With, with, oh, shit. She don't know what size waist she is. That ass so fat. She got a dumbass waist. It'd be like a 27. Like, dumbass waist. Whatever. Don't worry about it, B. Simone. The nigga who love you already love you. Mm Mm-hmm. Dang. That's what's wrong with people. I here trying to impress everybody. I don't be trying to impress nobody. Be the shit to who you the shit to. I don't be out here trying to be the shit to everybody. I just go around the hoes I know like me already. <laughs> Keep my self-esteem high. You think I'm about to go in a circle where I'm already rejected? Fuck no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't need approval again. I'm Hey, I'm through convincing bitches. I'm the nigga. Uh-uh. Sure. If you don't already like me, it's well, over. It's fine. I'm not about to, I'm not pit. Fuck that. Mm-mm. <laughs> I know the bitches I'm going to be fucking for the next three years. I already met them uh, s- some time ago. They just ain't crane back across yet. Ain't going to be no new pussy. That shit don't happen like that. That shit happen about two, three times a year. But all the other pussy be like some return investment That's type shit. What do you mean? New pussy, three new bitches a year? <laughs> that is so low. <laughs> oh. That is so low. Three, you know how many days it is in a year? <laughs> 365. You cannot, you don't need a new girl every day, Carlos. You d- who the fuck said that? <laughs> who the fuck said that? You just talked about cauliflower dick. I'm just saying, I mean, if you can't, if you can't look at a person and see if they sick or not. You can't. <laughs> I guess I'm just lying for 35 years then. I'm just a goddamn lie, huh? Healthy as a horse. <laughs> Healthy. Nigga don't even need eight hours of sleep. I'd be sleep three, four hours sometime and go on and jump up out that bitch. I'm healthy as hell. Blood pressure good, my sugar low. All that shit. Oh, Lord. You're so crazy. Whatever, B. Simone. It's a, it's a lot of motherfuckers out here who thought we weren't going to make it this far. And you know what we call those people? Haters. I don't never call them that. I call them motivation. Yeah. The people who don't, you know, like some people. 
just go on these videos when they see us and just click dislike. They don't give a fuck what we like, do. You didn't even watch it, bitch. Nah, what do you they just like? don't want to see us do better. For go sure. watch. The, go back and look at the episodes. It's the motherfuckers who put the thumbs down. You hated this shit that much? <laughs> like, what did we say to make a nigga be like, uh-uh, uh-uh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. I can't wait for YouTube to see my one dislike and take the shit down. This is inappropriate. Yeah, I hate that. So we want to shout y'all out too. We see y'all. Much love to you. Well, see, this shit going to be so far in the video. They ain't yeah, going to see it. Yeah, they're not going to see it. They don't need to be watching it. They just be put, clicking on it. Cut it out and shit. put this at the Yeah, beginning. so much love to the people who've been disliking our shit for the last year. If we ever see you and figure out who you are, we're going to beat your we ass. We're going to dump you. <laughs> Not because we we in our feelings about it. But it's just, just that we know. You need to learn a lesson. Yeah, and you There's took for granted to do. that it wasn't people out who was still like that, who would still beat your ass. You thought we were going to be the bigger people and just <laughs> ignore it. We petty. We like if we find out lesson. that you the hater, we all going to whoop your ass. Old school style. Chad is a great person, but guess what? When we get you on the ground, he going to be kicking you too. <laughs> I'll probably be the one to be like, stop, guys, that's but, enough. But once you find out that they was the ones on your page disliking shit, too, no. you're going to at least spit on them. No! Clayton English is the most nonviolent nigga I know. But when we find out who the haters are, he going to be with the shit. No. And he a tall nigga. He got long reach. Have so, you ever been in a fight, Clayton? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Have you, Carlos? Yes. Oh. Yes. That's why I what talk so much about? shit, because I'm so confident in my fighting skill. When was your last fight? Uh, a couple years ago when I was in Memphis. It was just a random late night nigga. What happened? I was trying to piss, and a Mexican dude <laughs> was on some shit. I, man, I done told that shit so many times on here. That was my last official life. You beat his ass? Like, yeah, I had to, cause, but it was in self-defense, so it wasn't <laughs> like... The I don't wait, care a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, he hit me first. <laughs> no, he didn't hit me first. He grabbed my shirt and ripped it. My Why shirt you off. was pissing? No, I never got to piss, so the whole time oh. I was fighting, I was trying to not piss on myself, too. Because <laughs> in, in, the, in the gist of it, I still had to piss. Mm -hmm. But it was just some random shit. I was trying to pee. And he was in the bathroom with this white lady. They was like snoring some shit or something. And he came out. He just kept fucking with me. Like, I'm like, bro, get him. You know what I'm saying? He grabbed me. You know what I mean? I don't want to get too detailed because I just he, left. I don't know if they were reviewing the tape or what. Trying to figure out who the fuck I was. <laughs> still reviewing the tape years yeah, later. Yeah. They don't, you know, it's the open case. Case still open. <laughs> Hell no. I've never yeah, been I'm, in a fight. But see, that's the thing about it. Fuck fighting. Fighting don't solve shit, but it make you feel better. Violence is the answer sometimes. No. Yes, it is. Violence is never it, the answer. Look, murder is not the answer. <laughs> violence is All definitely. Almost death is no, the answer. No, it's not even Beat death. Beat somebody nah, dead. Violence definitely. Violence solves everything. If you think about it, sometimes. in the grand scheme of things, violence is the only answer. Yeah. No, look at all the these wars. Answer. Look at all these wars that been going on. And what is it solving? Shit, everything. No. no. Shit. That's why they keep going to war. They be like, bitch, you don't want to listen. We're going to come over there and shoot you in your fucking ass. Then you going to listen. Because after you after we put this pressure on your ass that you want, because you don't want to listen. That's how, that's how, You don't know how much ass whooping you going to get. That's why your mama used to be like, all right. All right. Okay. Okay. Wait till we get home. So that means show your ass all the way until we get home. Right. So when I get you home and I give you way too much ass whooping, <laughs> just know that you didn't know that you was already at half ass whooping. Then you just kept not listening. And you know, just kept putting quarters on it. <laughs> you done built up a whole nother ass whooping by the time you got home. Why she do me like that? All I did, no, you know, you've been hard headed, cussing, this, this, playing, you all in the back seat, standing down. up with your seatbelt. <laughs> you ain't even here the time she told you to sit down them two times. Sit your ass down. Sit down. I, I don't know what the fuck wrong with you, but you're going to learn tonight when I get your ass home. I bet you that. Mm. And you just building up, adding on to the ass whooping. Because you're hard headed. Yeah, hard headed. All right. What we doing? Uh, Fuck you mean? Don't like, ask like me, sleep. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This nigga here. Don't bro. ask me. What you got coming up, bro? What can we subscribe to your movement? <laughs> nigga, the same shit. <laughs> Just been out there. <laughs> I feel like you got a whole nother operation that we don't know shit about, same bro. Shit. You be vague as hell. How you going to see it? It ain't out yet. But I'm just saying. I'm going to tell you about it, folks. I feel like you got some exclusive shit that we supposed to get first looks at, and you ain't been giving us our goddamn directors. Nigga, they cut, don't bro. give me first looks nothing, nigga. I just hope I'm still in it when it come out. 
Yeah. So, yeah. I was uh, so mad. I saw yeah, one I of the Wild and Out promos. Them motherfuckers put me in the promo for 0. 0.8 seconds. <laughs> I was like, well, fuck. I'm posting this shit anyway because I saw it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I'm bro. On it. That's the thing. You don't put your dreams in another motherfucker's hand. You got to do that shit yourself. I don't give a fuck. If it's point three, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm this kind of nigga. I'm gonna find that point three seconds and I'm gonna pause that shit. And I'm gonna repeat it. And I'm gonna screenshot that bitch. And then I'm gonna post that bitch with four filters. And then when I think people tired of seeing it, guess what I'm gonna hit them with? The black and white version. (laughs) I give less than a fuck. It's all about self promo. I got this great, beautiful, high definition HBO promo that they're running right now. I love it. That bitch looks so good. good. That promo is so good. I love it. Let me tell you how good the HBO promo is, nigga. The HBO promo is so lit that the fucking LOL took the HBO promo shit and put it in the LOL promo. So that's cross promo. Hell yeah. I got a lot of shit coming out next year, boy. They working together, huh? Ooh. LOL bought all the Def Jam shit. You're motherfucking right, they did. So we got the new season of Wildin' Out coming out. By the time you see this, it'll be out. That's coming. Season um, 10. Season 10 is out. Then the All Deaf Comedy Jam is coming out. We got the 85 South show on two episodes of the Little Women of Atlanta. Uh, what else, man? I got a, some more shit. Oh, I'm on the new game show hosted by Tony Rock called um, Black Heart Revoke. That's coming out. Man, it's, a, it's some more shit, but I forget. I know, like, I always can get like three out of five or whatever, but I got like some shit coming. Mm-hmm. And some shit I can't even tell you about. What? I can say that. They already sent me the email. (laughs) And they put us in the trailer for the promo. Yeah, they had they had like a little um they had a little promo like hottest moments type shit and they was like sneak peek of the new season. They had me and Chico on that bitch. So yeah. We're taking the brand and we're going nationwide with it, bitch. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anything else? You got some new music coming out? How do you know? Because I know the nigga who be doing the mixing. <laughs> no, you don't. The nigga who What's ma- his name? I ain't gonna see. Liar. Me and the nigga cousin cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, so tell him about the shit. Um, I have a new song dropping Friday. It's a remix to Cardi B's song, and then I'm dropping a single in a week. What Cardi B song? Uh, fuck, and then I guess the money. Oh. Oh, G Easy and Cardi B. That's, is that, is that ASAP for Rocky Grammy. on that bitch? That's ASAP Amazing. Rocky on the hook. Um, on yes, ASAP Rocky. Oh, because I was like, boy, that nigga sound just like ASAP Rocky. That's him. You want to hear a funny ass ASAP Rocky story? The nigga is on the new season of Wildin' Out, right? Mm-hmm. And he came on like he came on the first season that we came back. That nigga came on Wildin' Out and did season ten, and then we was doing the show, and he realized that he had on the exact same shirt. That he wore fucking four or five years ago on that shit. He was like, nigga, this is crazy. Because I was showing him the picture. So that was. Is that tape? Yeah, that's just, you know how your shit be when it's. What new. shirt was it though? It was, it's just a flannel shirt. The oh, I was about to say. Shirt? The exact same one. Yeah. Is that Rocky? And he's supposed to be the fashion nigga. He's it supposed to have same... a closet full of shit. But see, I, he the type of nigga who is like, he ain't gonna get fresh everywhere. He he he'll be fresh over here. Then he'll be on the skateboarder shit. Nah, but his fresh shit be shit that we ain't, we don't we the nigga wear like a life vest. Right. <laughs> I wonder how much money I'm gonna wear before all my clothes is made by gay dudes. You say you wonder what? When you get money, all your clothes be made by gay dudes. Like I don't all want, the designers I don't want is that. Like I gay don't want dude. that. It's fine. I want, I'm wearing all women designers. I oh. want bitches dressing my shit because I want to wear what bitches like. I'm there sorry, ladies. There you go. Because I want you to be a woman. But see, that's the I thing. I don't want to wear no bitch shit because bitches wear that cheap shit from them boutiques on Instagram. Rainbow. I might be biased, but I knew exactly who hey, you were talking about. Hey, I wear boutiques, though. Yeah. Shout out to the. <laughs> you know who we should shout out? <laughs> boutiques that send you exactly what you fucking ordered. The shit or fit boutiques right. That send you free shit. Yeah. This shirt. Free. That's what's up. They only gave you half of it. Mm-hmm. Good. If you want that shirt, go to B Simone's website, no. put in Beetlejuice, <laughs> and click four. Wait, hold Beetle on. Juice. What are these gift cards you be giving away? It's for. <laughs> I'm sick. 
What is? But what is it? It's just a, a boutique. But, they give away what? gift cards, and it's like a ten dollar gift card if they order something from the boutique. Oh, okay. So they pay me to post it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm about to stop doing that though, because I post it a lot. You do such good money, and it I only have to save an hour. Do it, man. Don't let nobody. Fo- don't never quit. I hate putting listen, promo on my page. But listen though. Don't never let no, don't know. never walk away from no really money do. unless it's some easy money. You know. yeah, Get that shit so, forever. Right? Keep post keep getting away them gift cards. They give you money. For, I don't give a fuck if this shit just keep doing that shit. <laughs> let a motherfucker but fuck isn't with that me. A bad look for me to keep posting. Fuck, that? fuck what? The people who fucking with you, they know that you getting your money. Well, right, 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 I'm about right. to unfollow this bitch. All she do is All promo. Well, get, get your ass her. out of here. I ain't gonna miss your one like, one comment leaving the ass. Seriously. 400,000 motherfuckers out there like, go Carlos, go Carlos. <laughs> your Carlos. one ass, oh, I'm 60 in this shit. Well, fuck it. You on here for free. <laughs> you think you're not gonna see no advertising? You, them the niggas who need to see the promo. Right. The niggas who on there for free, <laughs> right. not posting shit behind a private page. Every time you post some shit, you ugly hell. No, seriously. Dirty ass pan. LOL. Seriously. Roast me. You can't fuck with me. Man, go on with that bullshit. Let me get some shit to promo. I'm going to be on that bitch selling them sneaky auntie bra. Sneaky Vaughn. Yeah, they paying like a motherfucker. I know the check's about to come out because all the bitches I follow had their little shit on. One bitch done cross promo. She had the sneaky auntie bra drinking the stomach tea. <laughs> For like, sure. That bitch a gangster right there. She drinking flat tummy tea with a waist trainer on with the sneaky auntie bra. Selling the flat t- This bitch got five different ass in this bitch. And she done tagged the nigga who take all the pictures of the naked hoes. I was like, this bitch gonna be a billionaire. Take me to the city. What is in that tea? Nothing. Ain't, I ain't no, never seen herbs. nobody actually drink the shit. Herbs. Everybody been sitting there. It. Herbs. Herbs. That's the answer? It nigga. makes you shit. Herbs. It's a colon cleanse. Motherfucker can tell you anything can tell you it's herbs. Fuck it that. Is. <clears throat> That's crazy. They got a herb for every goddamn thing. Where are these herbs? Why they no grown? fat bitches drinking the tea? That's what I want to see. Why show they no bitch, fat bitches getting show skinny? Show me the bitch who drunk a lot of it and got tea. skinny. All the bitches drinking the tea already skinny. They had surgery too. That's what I'm saying. But so you ain't, that tea ain't helping. It's just tea blood tea. in your bikini line. That hole leaking. Wow. Fuck this shit, bro. I'm tired of this shit. All these fake ass motherfuckers, fake fine. You ugly. You fucking ugly. Even the motherfuckers who fine got some shit wrong with them. You saw Delicious? This bitch at the water park, stomach looked like a whole booty hole. Oh, no. Yeah. That shit was sick. You know what? Some bitches only- Goddamn navel look like a uh, donut. That little donut. Yeah, little Dunkin' Donut. That shit was nasty. How the fuck you got an Audi and an Innie? That's an Innie Audi. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. She don't follow me. She did? Mm. Oh, I thought you said she unfollowed you. That's the thing. I can't fuck it. So what? Now, some of them Instagram bitches only it. look good in clothes. Who you telling? And some of them only look good out of clothes. Uh, like some bitches, like sometimes strippers look terrible with their clothes on. Yeah. But then they out the clothes, you like, oh, okay. And then some bitches look good with their clothes. I'm, I'm, I'm good. unfollowing everybody who don't have no nipples. I found out that the Colombians, know? Colombian bitches want to look good with clothes on. Brazilian bitches want to look good with their clothes off. I, I don't know. That's why it's the difference in their surgeries. Long as my Instagram Colombian girlfriend, surgery be having a Frankenstein tip. As long as my Instagram girlfriend's eat. happy, I'm happy. They can't get the, who's your Instagram girlfriend? Bernice oh, yeah, and oh, yeah. uh, Cocaine Lorraine. All the rest of them bitches can go to work. Mm-hmm. Cocaine, Cocaine so Lorraine make me happy. She be in the kitchen. Cooking nothing, just standing at the stove. <laughs> She's so fucking fine. I just She's be so thinking pretty. of all the shit I could put in that skillet. Bacon. She has, so, she has eggs, light eyes and freckles. She's bro, beautiful. And her ass. We her know what she looks like. Is just fucking they crazy. might not. They know what she looks like. Y'all bro, looking at all the wrong shit, bro. She used to be popping. I be looking at it all. She got this one freckle that's on this side. It's just, just demands attention. All right, I'm about to leave. Fuck y'all. I I, I'm me too. I got shit to do. <laughs> I got a life outside of this. <laughs> People don't believe it, but I do. Thank you guys for having me. We didn't have you. You had us. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, you got to stay sharp. Are you mad that you had to miss your comedy class? <laughs> 
first of all, it's not a comedy class. Well, your writing session. So you do stand up now. Okay. Yeah. Are we, did we talk about that on this? No, nah, she Let's won't talk, talk about, about that. You she do stand up now. How you gonna secretly do stand up comedy? Because I'm gonna secretly do it until I'm good. Shit don't work like that, sweetheart. I hate to tell you. You just gotta do it. Yep. Nobody's I gonna care if you bomb. Nobody's gonna care. And that's the biggest thing. As long as you have a great personality, they'll give you before? another chance. Nah, we great. We don't bomb. We fucking been killing this shit since the first night. You never bombed? Shit, I got some pussy the first time I did comedy. Have you ever bombed, Clayton? A really? Bomb. Don't a let bomb. him lie to you. Nope. By the rules of the comedy club? By the gods? I'm you asking. Y'all know what I mean. Have y'all ever had like a No, you gonna have you gonna have one that ain't all the way there. Yeah. But just try to have it. Early. Sometimes you have shows that just was not meant to happen. When you just be out there chasing money, and nigga hit you and be like, "Lo, got this show for you." Then you show up, and the nigga got you with this much cord. I'm going up after <laughs> fights. Yeah. Like, can I have a cord to smile? You, you trying to do the <laughs> show, and this nigga got this shit. the microphone stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit happens. I done did all that shit. Like, I done did shows nigga. at the podium. <laughs> nigga got a, just a podium. <laughs> With the, with the little, uh, yeah, that. I done did, yeah, all that. You're no, the fuck, man. ask this nigga. Oh, my God. Bro, I really did that with shit. With the thing where you get Bruh, the shower? I did a show at a mega church. The, the church was no. huge. They had no members. That's why. Big we, ass church. Like, like, you think we fucking with you. We asking you, where are you doing your show? I'm not telling you. You so worried about a motherfucker hey, coming. We trying to tell you. I had you a comedy room that was so goes. goddamn far you from the city. You got combined 24 years worth of comedy Come in on, front man. of you, but you want, no, I don't want to. Okay. It, it doesn't matter so, if I'm so, doing my so, show so. on a corner downtown. Like, yeah, where do. does it matter where I'm doing my show? It does matter. Yes, it, what All are you that fucking shit talking matter. about? Are you doing it in a comedy club? Are you doing it in a bar? Right. Are you doing it in a pool hall? Are a you doing it club. in a strip club? A you club. doing it at a comedy club? Yep. Okay. So you going to open mic night? It's not are open you, mic night. So you booking a whole thing, and that's where you're going to start your comedy? I'm opening up for some other people. You mm -hmm. opening up for all that context. Yep. Context is key for everything. I'm yep. not, I don't, okay, so now that I told you, give me some advice. No, I don't want to help you now. <laughs> Fuck all that, man. Right. Your attitude been so fucked up the whole time. Mm -hmm. I no longer have a desire. You're so standoffish. All right, guys, we're signing off. 85 style show. No, Thank you don't you get so to tell them when we leave, and you don't get to tell them when we leave. You can leave. You can leave. Clayton. We'll, you think we need to discuss your life yeah. without you? We we will keep this shit going. Yeah. You just said you were about to go. We yeah, we changed our mind. We leave when we get ready, though. We, did another segment. We're trying to make sure you don't be out here doing the wrong no, shit. Y'all really but... aren't. Yes, yeah, we, we are. are. No, you don't aren't. listen. Yeah, we are. You don't listen. You don't say anything for me to listen. You to. sneaking and meeting with niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these motherfuckers? What does that matter? It does matter. Because <laughs> we're the only ones in this city that that's doing some shit. All laughs got to uh, go through us. <laughs> stop it. They do. Let me catch a nigga not, let me catch somebody giggling and they ain't got shit to do with it. I'm gonna throw a tag on this shit. Man, that motherfucker ugly as hell. Hell yeah, that nigga ugly. Yeah, I'll, I'm just putting my snap on everything. <laughs> Fuck that. Catch oh. nigga. Let me catch a motherfucker out here laughing. Two of them giggles <laughs> belong to me. I had something to do with it. That so you wrote jokes? No, it ain't. I inspired motherfuckers, so I'm, they wasn't funny until <laughs> they started fucking with me. All that is a product of me, me, you know, doing what the fuck I do. <laughs> Tired of this shit. <laughs> Everybody can take credit for shit they ain't do. I want some credit too. Fuck it. No, for sure. Come on. Fuck it. You know I was the first. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. I, was I heard the first a, motherfucker to do a joke. I heard a motherfucker in front tell of a somebody, dartboard. I heard a motherfucker tell somebody, man, I discovered Carlos. I was like, I slap the shit at you, man. Niggas will tell you they discovered Carlos. Nobody discovered me. I ain't discovered, bitch. <laughs> Niggas wasn't laughing in the seventies. I'm undiscoverable. <laughs> They really fucking up because I'm out here grinding. I, I already know who you're talking about, though. I'm going to get a couple more dollars, and I'm just going to quit fucking with everybody. I'm just going to quit. Carlos, you, we trying to, I don't do comedy no more, bro. I'm straight. <laughs> Got all my money in cash. I moved back to Mississippi. <laughs> Buy me a double-wide trailer with a big front porch. Fuck <laughs> these niggas. <laughs> they don't know. I got enough to survive the rest of my life in Mississippi. Fuck these niggas, bro. I'm only doing comedy to see what happened at this point. I done achieved all my dreams. I'm good. Well, when you special coming out, bitch, I don't need no special. I'm straight. If you would have saved what they paid me for them 30 minutes, you, you good. I'm straight. 
fuck the special. I didn't get in the game to beat everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everybody ain't gonna make it. Welcome back to the 85 Channel Show. <laughs> Just bullshit. I really that. appreciate all the opportunities that have been presented. You know, that have been bestowed upon me. That have been bestowed upon me, you know. Just trying to make it in the game real humble and shit. Fuck that. No, this is the 85 South Show. I'm Carlos Miller. I was and I still am. Who are you, bro? Man, Clayton English, you know what it is, man. The mayor of Korea town. <laughs> I'm out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drinking smoothies. Yeah. I got Where's a fetish for white women that look like they from Whoville now. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's my who's fetish. are ugly. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Don't do that. They are off the Grinch. I'll be at Kanye's house in Calabasas. So you don't act like <laughs> little Cindy Lou was Cindy not cute Lou as fuck. Looks crazy. You crazy as hell. You don't have a heart. Hey man, I like what I like. Come on man. No, just that's it. Play in English. All that shit. I heard the old Kanye about to come back. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> Right. He's frozen. Okay. And you are? Lee Simone. How you sleeping, burping? What is wrong with you? I just had one yawn. That was like 10. And you do 11 burps. Because they can tell you. Red Bull gets you high and then crashes you. Yeah. So, thank you. Don't do that. Making no. this shit amazing. It don't do that. Clayton English. Don't do that. B. Simone. Yes. The 85 South Show staff. Corporation. Glad to have all of us together Record again. Label. Global Soul for all your footwear needs. Come to 85 South Show if you don't um, want people all in the video. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? For all your foot needs, holler at Global Soul. We got a black owned sock company that we're about to launch. Want some more spaghetti. Early 2018. Me and my nigga Sabado Domingo. We got a. Uh, Little program coming out to teach black kids Spanish. Oh, sorry. Shout out to B Simone, little <laughs> sister. Got some big titties. I seen her on Instagram the other day. You're like your si sister's titties are so big. The, no, I'm just saying. You know, like the angle that you had, it was just like you had. You was right here. She was kind of behind you, and then when she came titty first, I was like, what? <laughs> hey man, let's get the fuck out of here. We out of here. All he does is talk about titties. That is not all I do. Cause I talk about ass and pussy and shit too. How old is your little sister? Was she old enough to talk about titties? She don't like boys. Yeah, she's 24. Oh, okay. She does like boys. She she on boys now? She does guys and girls. 